Friends, welcome back to Frosty Faustings 15 live from Lombard, Illinois, and it is top eight finals time here for Guilty Gear Accent Core Plus R. My name is Glage. I'm here with my good friend Raf. Good to see you again, brother. Oh, it's a pleasure. Glad to be back. And we have a unsurprisingly stacked top eight because this entire bracket was stacked. For sure. Over 200 entrants here yeah. at Frosty Faustings for Guilty Gear Accent Core Plus R. Yeah. So many killers from legacy players all the way through all the rollbackers who have been mm -hmm. playing since all the improvements to the game. And here we are with the final eight. A lot of the names, if you've been following Plus R, that you will know and you will recognize, and it's going to be one heck of a show. So thank you all for joining us for the first Guilty Gear Top 8 of Frosty Faustings. Yeah. That's what Lycan has. But May, May got a big anchor, a lot of damage, and she does have a very interesting but still effective command grab with overhead kiss. And she's going to go right in. A lot of Kodako is just big movement, just flying around the screen, popping the dolphins. Wukash trying to like play, find a spot. No one's engaged yet, but they're jump heavy. Start things off. Wukash on the offense. Saw a little slashback attempt there from Kodako on the down heavy. And there we go. Maki, force break, guard counter. Incredible force break. So versatile, especially if you want to use the follow-ups. Mm -hmm. Both players really just kind of feeling each other out right now. Yep. Ooh, the Wukash yeah. classic. Do not, do not jump in on this man. You will get countered. Big Yuzansen, nice combo, just gonna get a little bit extra damage here. And oh, try nice to dolphin off the bar. catch! Nice. Really good. Got him out? Not quite. And oh. nice block on the Baku though. Okay, Kadako's still in it. Yeah. He's a big oh, hit. There it is, the jump. Go, go. Oh, Aww. Try to go for that six heavy off the FRC. No dive. Yeah. Catch with a great first round. Yeah. That is a that is not a trivial combo to hit for me. You're doing a, a down charge out of a forward, you know, pushing normal. So some really difficult charge partitioning has to be done there. What can I do? Ooh, Ukash on point with the guard counters right now. That specific one is so good against the air options. Forces the burst out of Kadaka with a big 6P. Has a big counter, a lot of stuff. He's gonna avoid this. And oh, forced the burst out of Ukash. Interesting, really, yeah, really interesting punish choice. Probably thought he couldn't get over in time. Gets the burst out of Ukash though. So Kadaka with a little bit of momentum here. Wow, guard counter too early that time. Empty low. Nice, oh. Aura avoids the overhead kiss. Yeah, I like that a lot. Nice. You get, yep, just go low. Mm -hmm. Catch the anti-air, wouldn't get the extension. And just enough, not, a, not quite. Rest of roll. Oh, he did, I was wondering if he was gonna go in. Okay, the follow up to Bako is done. You see down there on the lower part, you see the HS thing. That means Kadako's hard slash button is locked out. He cannot use it, which means he cannot activate burst, he cannot throw. And that timer finally runs out. Oh, oh what a counter hit. That's, that's, no death. that's it. That's death. Wow. Oh, what a beautiful from the crowd popping up for Wukash. Yes, Just I mean, found it. Was down that entire second round, but those clean hits and that patience. I love that Baku, like you mentioned. Mm -hmm. Shutting out such an important button. No dolphins, no throw, no nothing. Yeah, and I was kind of wondering if Kadako was like, ah, I probably shouldn't hit with this rest of the roll. That's just pre guard counter. Mm -hmm. And the very last hit, Wukash is waiting. and. Ran it all the way back. Who would have painted the grab? I like yeah, that. Forced the burst out immediately. And that's already a big resource gone with the catch. Forced the burst out from Kadako. Nice counter hit confirm. And both players playing really on top of it. Yeah. Wukash, man, get another solid hit. Spiking does so much damage in this game. And then she gets a setup too. It's just like the extra cherry on top. Tries to get the grab. Nice avoidance from Kadako, but it's a lot to come back with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, once you get in the corner, Tatami is such a good lockdown tool in this game. Just amazing hitbox on it. Really hard to get around. Baku? Immediate. Oh. Just, just a crouching punch. That's as little yeah. as Wukash wants to block. One round away from sending Kodako into losers. Yeah. yeah Kodako not even able to get around yet. Okay, there's her first overhead kiss set up. See how much damage gets up. The big damage. All right. Where's the setup going to be? Oh. Catches the jump out. And the left deep and that's nice. a stun. Yeah. Just you're just waiting on it. May, one of the most effective characters in the game at getting stuns because huge stun modifier on that forward heavy, mm -hmm. big stun modifier on the forward punch. So you eat counter hits from May, you're not gonna have a good time. Taco kind of starting to feel it now. A lot of hit nice with the great. I like that on the delayed air dash. At least a start for Wukash trying to bring this back around, but Kadako in prime position. Slide right under the mat. Oh, good 2D. Oh, oh wow. wow. Wait for the overhead kiss. All right, Dolphin. Oh my god, what a conversion. Forces the burst out of Wukash. And the hit should be enough. Yep. Very nice. I love the delay, knowing that Kadako was trying to time that guard cancel on the yeah. jumping, but waited just to the last second to land. Caught, Wukash crouching, Kadako ties it up one to one. Yeah. 
like Falco was looking, looking a little haggard there. It was like, you, you wake up, my guy, and suddenly it's like, oh no, I'm fine. You just, just need a minute. Look, throw up the hands. Instant Sakura. Oh, but challenging back yeah. on the run, not letting back get him for free. Another Sakura beating out the Dolphin, staying grounded. Yep. More heavy, yep, takes the knockdown. The, the there mix. it is, the faint can cancel, it's over, he can face the first. first. The knock Head goes, combo. feeling it, Ooh. like it's almost stunned and almost out of life. Baku, all right. Oh, oh, just out of range. Today, a lightweight character, some of the combos like that. All right, good guard counter. I can stop flashing, so that stun seems to be gone for now, but still got work to do if Bukash wants to bring this round back. Yeah, a lot of life missing on there. Kadako in a good position. Doesn't have to really do much. Any errant hit. Yeah, if you're Kadako, you just kind of, there you go. Yeah, wait, pick your spot. No reason to be overly aggressive. And Kadako now on set point. Turn out three straight rounds. Out. Yeah, Bukash did three straight, and now Kadako yeah. just making sure, hey. Like you said, it kind of becomes fast and furious in plus R. Mm. Again, yeah. every time it's up back from Wukash getting blown up. And he's just forgetting the FT. That's mm -hmm. the, the half FT. It's one of those things you just like, oh, May can't possibly reach him. No, she can. Yeah, yeah, absolutely can. That anchor's big, kids. Yeah, being able to cancel that into the command grab just is so, it took you. Oh, what a counter oh. hit. So much more stun. Okay, this gives the situation. Yep. Good action. Finally, Wukash waiting on it, but the slash back on the two heavy. Beautiful read on, or not read, but good reaction to it. Yeah. All right, so oh, you might have enough. Okay, goes up and gets it, and Kadako, after a haggard start, runs it all the way back, four straight rounds, takes the set 2-1. Yeah, just immaculate May play, the adjustments were so good. All of just like little timing differences mm -hmm. that were presented, and Wukash just was the one kind of asleep at the wheel. Yeah. With a lot of just like the defensive options up, backing without a ding, and getting caught just in bad situations, yeah. like Kadako just bring it right through. Yeah, it kind of, you could tell, when you see a biking player committing to up back, you know you know they're not feeling comfortable because mm -hmm. biking players love the, it's like, no, I'll wake up as long as I block what it, high or low correctly, you're in my house now. Mm -hmm. So to, to see a see Wukash go to up back so many times. And when you do that, you're, you're thinking, okay, I just wanna, I wanna see what's gonna go on. I'm gonna reset to neutral, probably throw a me out, get something going. And you kind of be like, oh, right, FD. And yeah. That in the old games, kids, you don't FD in the air and someone does a grounded move, uh, that's unblockable. And yep. if you get hit by a counter hit for a hit from me, that's bad. That's yep. not fun. And now that Kadaka's like, thank you for giving that for me, giving that to me for free. Yeah. I'll take all the forward heavies we can get. So we'll probably see a lot more of that in the winner's finals where Kadako sits. But we are now setting up for our next match to see who will face Kadako in that winner's finals. Yeah. It'll be either between from Cali, one of the finest to do it, and one of the biggest lob monsters you'll see in Plus R. That's going to be Hano Rod. Yep. Who's coming through with the cliff, basically with like him and like TTTSD. Yeah. Writing T5, yep. the book on Cliff Anderson. Yeah, we do. I was talking about this yesterday in Cool. Cliff for multiple years at the start of Plus R, because Cliff is an old character from very like the original Guilty Gear. Yeah, yeah. Canonically, he, he did, um, but we don't worry about canonical things in fighting games, because that's just silly. But for a good part of the beginning of Plus R's life cycle, people thought Cliff was but like just bad, like way too straightforward, super high risk character, had the lowest stun modifier in the game. So one straight counter, he'd be like, whoops, uh -oh. you're dead. Yep. Um, <laughs> And, and that was just, it's like, okay, he's got these big normals. He's got some fuzzy jump mix-up stuff that's kind of cute. But kind of cute and inconsistent in plus R is not a path to success. And then lab monsters like Hono, T5, and, and these Cliff players are like, but what if we made it consistent? And what oh. if we actually looked at his hitboxes and found out that they're all just not finished? Yeah, when you have a character that's literally like up to the kneecaps of most everybody else, there's a lot of jank there, and they will present it at all times. Yeah, it's, but it's it's crazy because he's so consistent with these, these big buttons, and but at the same time, this is a character that is happy to take a match into the mud because there's maybe no character in the game that is as good at converting off scramble situations as Cliff. You just see a button, you're like, I can't possibly. Why am I dead? Of course, this character was just like, oh, we reset to neutral. I'm just gonna fly at you and. Three different like advancing specials. If any of them hit, yep. expect it to take a chunk out. If you got meter, that might be a wrap. Yeah. But it's easy to say the, the strengths of Cliff, but definitely a lot 
to deal with against the opponent, which is going to be Safri with yep. the Testament. The Testament, another character that's just been a great dominating force in the XX series of yeah. figures, being able to just control so much of the screen pace by setting up trees, setting up webs, yep. and then presenting also big normals that make it also hard to approach. And when you do approach, you end up falling in to all of the things that are set up there, which then lead to more knockdowns, more hard to blockable. Some of the best Okazumi in the entire game. Mm -hmm. Testament plays a different game, widely considered to be one of the two best characters of the cast. And Testament just gets to convert things that other characters don't yep. and has one of the best win conditions in the entire game in Master of Puppets. For You've never seen Testament, Testament like uh, like my buddy Raph said. Has the webs, has the trees. They activate when you get in proximity. You can make you can make the webs go away by hitting them with a hitbox yep. that doesn't actually activate against you. But the trees just sit on the ground, and if you run, get near them, they pop up. One, they poison you. Two, they're unteckable. And if Testament hits you with either an air grab or his super master of puppets, where he throws the key, they excuse me, throws the key at you. You get three charged versions of the trees or the webs to use at your discretion. Yep. And those things are borderline checkmate situations. Mm -hmm. When there are big trees planted, that is so much screen real estate that is just like, Testament's like, nope, this is my place. You can come in if you want, but you're going to have to leave very quickly. Yeah. Sorry I didn't clean up. You have to deal with it. Yeah. No, all, it's all your mess now. All the spider webs, don't worry. I like, kind of like it. If you don't like it, too bad. Yeah. So no. very, very be scary. a big part, right? Because like, you got to look at like both characters. Um, Testament. There's, there's really like no true reversal on either one, so it's a lot of like who gets that momentum yeah, and like yeah. pushes the other person's face in. Yeah, Te the one thing that is, is wild is the whole idea is that Testament is this character that has a ton of screen pollution, big normals, yep. control space really well. So the idea is, well, if you get to them, they have to hold it, right? Well, but what if I told you this character has a counter that activates on frame two? Mm -hmm teleports, has an FRC, and if you get hit by your poison, and poison is just unscaling damage in plus R, and that hurts when you're getting hit by some of the biggest combos, and right out the gate, we're just gonna do, we're just gonna do Badlands, no fear. All right, but trading already. Hano's in, in a happy spot. Look at those big normals right, again coming nice. through the air to air, already setting up the taunt, that taunt is a multi-hitting projectile that passes on the ground, Yep. so any hard knockdown, at least at a full screen distance, will set that up. Oh, oh kind of grab. All right. Into right into Master, Master of Puppets. Puppets. Yep. There we go. Unlock yep. the key to victory with the powered up tree in the ground. Yep. Do you remember it's there? I hope so. Yep. And then the overhead. Yep. Good. A good burst there. Because what was going to happen is Hano was going to get thrown to the other side of the screen, land on the ground. The tree was going to activate OTG. It was going to get real ugly. So that was a very smart burst. But Testament set up now has a lot of room to operate. There's webs out. Those big trees are still there. They do not go away. And oh, they just lost track. Yep. It's nice. so hard because you. You know, it's so hard to tell exactly where you are in the stage, and there you go, just tree, tree, tree. Big and tree, small tree, all the poison damage ticking down, EXE beast yeah. sitting wherever which way, so Safra just being happy to set some stuff up with a great Annie air into nice. the throw and a good chunk of damage here. Right. Cliff has a lot of OTG combos so you'll see setting up, and there's that counter. Yep. Okay, nice counter poke there, very good. All right, Nate saddles over, Nate saddles again. Does get grabbed though, that's not easy to punish, so that's it. Really but cut the punch grab there. Right. Oh, the EXE beast on the very back end. All right, so it's a punch. It still comes out, but yeah. there's the poison effect from the super. At least there's Sappy getting hit. Have to watch oh, out for this heavy. She just dodges the back. forward heavy. All right, kind of hit jump does. Works the first. Reflex roar, let's go. Nice. All right, Otto looking clean. Nice oh. dodge. That was so clean. And now we have to go out and play a little bit of life for Hano gets tagged, right. throws the burst, talks up, talks a mess. The words are still there though. The dust! Oh, there's a no! net! Oh, oh there okay. we go. Just hit the big button. Swing the butter knife. Get yourself a knockdown. Hano takes round two. Yeah, if we want to scramble, Hano is more than happy to get that going. Yeah. Gets the knockdown to a cross up. There we go to sweep. The best sweep in the game. Now the warrant. Catch the slide so. Nice dodge into the chop, put out the letters, let's go again. More pressure here. He's in blocks with Zafri at the back there, but gets caught by the ground. It's gonna expand a bit of damage go. into the corner we go, and the chase down is real, but that's gonna be a punish on the uh, attempt at the overhead. Could have been a way bigger punish. Zafri definitely missed an option. A good block in the air by Hano to not get tripped up by the web. He jumps out the EXE piece. Yeah, oh, the punish. piece is still in the first. Wow, what a super on the web! That's dangerous. Okay, Force Break Skull coming out. Nice dodge. Drills okay. under. Oh, but the, the skull still hits. Yep. As short right. as he is, 
Yeah. Get caught by that jump thrust to land on that more pressure. No punish. Yep. It's really hard to punish the drill from Cliff. All right, he's like Roar. Force break stolen again. Oh, man, the back and forth. It's a tree. Oh, no. What's up, All right. Force? It's going to get you. Yep, there's still, and there's probably another one that's going to play it on screen there right. Yep. Okay. Got to be careful where you burst here. Don't want to get it faded. To the web, it's going to be a combo. Not to under pressure. Chip damage. No, it's the beast from the back. Yeah. Once that is set up and active, as soon as it's released, there's no getting around it. So even if you're hit testing it, it just nips you yeah. at your ankles, and that's just how it goes. Yeah, the, kind of a... It, Hano with really no other options at that point. Kind of had to be like, I can't sit here. I'm going to get chipped out. Tried to find a gap and drill out. It just, like you said, just got nipped on the back end. So Safri takes game one to see if Hano can make a little adjustment here. He's going, wake up, wake up slash. I like it. Just like, no, I got a big button. I ain't scared of you. Stay for one. Very nice. Went for the reset. All right, drill forces the burst. I like to stay. Nice jump punch. Air to air. They get the great range. There you go, gets the spin. Yeah. Small little hit, that's crazy, but the counter hit's gonna enable it. Nice, nice forward down. Nice foul. Defense jump out. All right, OCG. Take okay, to the corner. Yep. Oh, the forward punch just out of range. That's why Cleed gets hit by the Badlands, going to the corner with the BMG. Gets the dodge. Almost escapes out of it, but still under all the pressure. Good defense right now for Hano, though. All right, he's out. All right. Good challenge. I like Very that. Nice. Top. Put up the word, and now Safi just have to get against it back to the air web. Nice challenge on it, but I'm going to get a oh, the combo. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Want to hit that lane. Master comes out now. Now things get really dicey. All right. Wait for the third strike. Sweep to the super. Nothing doing. That boy's going to kick down real fast. Overhead yeah. into the hit. That was a guarantee. Had a buck situation with the meaty from Testament. And now Safi looking at match. Point here to face comes off on the winner's side. Ooh. No. Almost. How? The worst is missed. Ow. They weren't active yet to falling out, and Zappa wow. really avoids it. Looking a little rough. Nothing but Hano's really trying to go for it. He's hitting. Goal burst. Okay. Goal burst. That can be hit. I'll just let uh, Lord Break Grave Digger rip. I don't want anything to do with what Cliff has to say. Yeah, no, not and at all. One more clean hit. Anything here. Hano running out of steam. And just Zappa just putting out super to be able to set a three. Anything left here. Block. Hano in a rough spot here, massive life depth if Reflex Road does not hit. Yeah, Hano looking for anything to get the party started here, trying to get things going. After not giving up any space in the game, that is the preferred range, found the clean hit. Safri with two games to none over Hano, sending the losers, and we have our winners' finals decided here at Frosty Falcon between Daco May and Safri Testament. Yeah, yeah, just Testament is so good at just playing the game differently. Yep. You, you, just, I can't describe how difficult it is to keep track. It's hard to keep track of basic things like neutral and <laughs> buttons and situations in Blizzard. Now you want me to keep track of invisible trees, invisible webs on screen that yeah. I ever lose track of. It's almost certainly one big damage, two, probably a knockdown into those EXEV setups. And if there's any meter on deck, probably getting comboed in the Master of Puppets, then mm -hmm. you get the big version, and it just spirals out of control yeah, so fast. Because it's just like you came to play a fighting game, but instead you're cleaning the attic. Yeah, You're just dealing absolutely. with all this debris and stuff in there. It's like, I just to get to where you want to go, you're just pulling everything off the wall. It's just, you're walking in, you're like, you know, it'd just be easier if we just burn it down. It burn it down, forget this exists, move to a new property. But well, They did that for Exert. I'm really not wrong. They were like, hey, not Let's wrong. just chill out with it. They, you know, the character's back in strive. Yep. Everyone's so excited. It's a very different character. Yeah. Which has probably made everyone a little happy too. But yeah, definitely yeah. like you see, you know, original accent core, you see plus R, two different like flavors of the same kind of mess you deal with. Absolutely. So you know the players who it's not easy by any means. No. Because amount of awareness you have to have yourself and Having your own mental stack, keeping track of everything you've set up is no small feat. So, you know, well done. We'll see more um, from Tapu later as well. Yeah. We'll see more from Hano. Yep. But now Not we're going to go to that loser side. We yep. start out with the top eight between Jacob Pat, more Testament action coming here versus Booba. Yep. Booba is a player I'm not particularly familiar with, but has run him up in this bracket, taking Zappa all the way to the top eight. Zappa, another character that very much plays the game differently. Yep. Like, some characters be built different. Zappa is definitely built different. Yeah, a lot, a lot to keep track of with this character, and it's so hard to like explain everything away. But the biggest thing is there is multiple ghosts haunting Zappa, and which ones that come out 
either through the uppercut that'll activate at least one of them or by getting hit, which may summon a ghost, yes. will show up. So the big goal for Zappa is to get the preferred summon. Yes. Everyone has their preferred summons when they go into like a matchup. Yes. And there's a group of them that you, you rotate through. You have the triplets, the three ghosts you can summon, throw around, blue the screen. That'll, if they hit, they will haunt the opponent yep. and cause anything things to fall. You have the dog, the good boy, that is usable as a, basically a separate character. Yeah, that can it turns, turns up into a puppet character, yeah. effectively. A very good puppet character at that. And then lastly is your friend, the sword. And yep. this is basically, what if we had a hit lock with no hurt lock that can just hang out anywhere on the screen if Zappo wants it to. And you can do every special move that you want to, even when the sword is with you, at those points. So it just makes it so there's this invisible wall that you can't interact with, but it'll mess you up. Oh, and by the way, the, the hitbox with no hurtbox, uh, it has both mids, highs, and lows. And all of them look deceptively similar. So, you know, just jump at full screen. It's like, it's an overhead. Just kidding, it was low. But it was also another overhead. By the way, I'm over here. You can't do anything to me right now. You are just playing with the sword. This all is right. what you get to do, so. I like it. And this little Zappa card, too. OK. OK. They're all about it. It's like a Sammy card, too. It must be from maybe an arcade. I like oh, that. All right. Yeah, so not cool. just playing the character, but they're about the character. Yeah, no, so I like that. Good for you, Booba, especially with that one piece shirt. I'm already a fan. <laughs> Yeah, Testament Zappa going in. And this is a. Uh, you're gonna see some messes in this matchup. So, Zappa has an amazing back dash, but not super amazing defense reverse off. He does have that uppercut you talked about, which is basically his command summon to bring out one of the three, three, three uh, specters. But if he already has a summon out, that move is gone. He's not allowed to use that while he's summoned. He's got sword action right now. And he was dancing forward, and there you see it. It's keeping Testament kind of that mate, working back in. And I like that. It's making the space. Even the small life is just getting all the ghosts on it. Okay. No punish, but at least it's pressure. Yeah. With even first and big tap, eventually you can only block the sword for so long. It's so hard to see. Trying to move past, get caught again. Go overhead yep. into the connection. That was really nice. Even the black beat combo. Great from Booba just. Staying at that space, it would be so hard to think of how to run that back. Because there's no way to set up or reach that one. So that's going to be the most important, I think, how we'll see. And uh, Booba can get back to the line. We saw the dog come out immediately got smashed. The dog does not always have a hitbox. You can't always hit it. It's not like little eggs. It has to be doing something or it has to fall asleep. Take a pass, get rid of it, makes the most of it. Full combo in the Master of Puppets. And now, now Testament is playing. There we go. You see one, yep, one web is out, one use. Second piece is out, there's a tree over there as well. So the third one is out. The whole screen is polluted, folks. Not a bad option here. You got the sword. You can fight. You really have to get yeah. into the summon. So if Booba can just get through here and play it right, yep. gets tagged. One tree, one tree is gone. But yep. still, there's the overhead Edge, immediate yep. first. Right. Both characters are just like, I don't really want any part of what you're doing, but sooner or later, right now, the good boy just coming in from the backside. Wow, you kept track. I am impressed. What did it? Now we're going to triple it. Let's get some great pressure, but the oh, tree, the tree. Is in the way. Tarzan, watch out. Kept track of the first, but you got to keep track of them all, my man. And now, guess what? There's more. We re we replanted the forest, but it doesn't matter. Jacob Pat turns yeah. around, takes round two. All right. And he's going to use round, maybe taking a little long, but it's just like no one really wants to engage. Who is for hard? And it's the situation where Booba has the dog pressure, yeah. activating just that extra hitbox. Four combos, too. We're seeing great extension. Right now, running away, maybe hit the dog out with the skull. Okay, yep. Oh, TV7, we got the triplet. Arguably, probably the easiest set for Testament to deal with. But still, okay, looking for a warrant, what you're doing. One more pressure here. And just get oh, the okay, knockdown. Yeah. Big life lead for Boom with yeah. the great air grab. Gets gold for a okay. second cross up, but at least a chance here for Jacob Pat. Booba blocks the first super, and now is in a prime position with all the summons. Wow. What a punish. What an anti air. That was not known for having amazing anti air for Booba. Finds a way. Takes round one pretty convincingly there. And we should note, Jacob Pat, true old school player. Mm -hmm. I'm talking like 20 years of playing the XX series. And one of his main training partners is. KD Nova, Kenji, 
widely considered one of, if not the best Zappa in North America. So he is familiar with this matchup. But being familiar with Zappa and fighting Zappa are two very different things, especially when you're in the middle of the top eight and it's win or go home at Frosty Falcon. Nice adjustments here. Watch for Booba with the wake up, up with that against the summit, and more dog pressure. I love the throw, we haven't done that option yet. And then the faint cross up, watch the grab. Booba is playing like he's also got 20 years of experience. Yeah, lots of, lots of a little, uh, I'll show you this once, let's see if you can stop it. And now we have sword. This is a, this is not where you want to be in touch. In the corner, the sword is sitting there. Nice air dash out. But getting away is one thing. Okay, does score the hit. And we're back to the triplets. All right. All right. Not bad. Yep. Those are used this up. Is, we'll, we'll take this RNG for testament. But now his, his curse. So there's going to be garbage thrown on the screen every so often by the ghosts. I like that. Booba going in, recognizing the web, yep. dodging, and really just navigating everything to the best the, that we've seen so far. Anyone yeah. getting around another player's kind of just antics. Yeah, these, these five P anti airs are impressive. Like I said, Snappa's not known for being a strong anti air character. It's one of the few weaknesses he had, but does have a very good air throw. And the dog oh, grip. Grab too. Okay, yeah. cross up with the jump heavy. And now getting that last, it'll do it. And Booba's just. On the, set point. With everything we've seen, changing the options, always presenting something different, and yeah. it's always been very effective. More pressure from Booba is Jacobat just not giving any inches here. Yeah, I mean, for all the things Testament does in this game, the one thing that they need, they still need to set up. Testament doesn't just start offense off a single hit in most situations. Now, just as I say that, of course, Jacobat converts a single hit into Skull, but already knocked out, and Booba gets that curse off of him. Oh, nice, using the momentum from the EXE Beast from behind to get the uppercut. Wow. Challenging immediately on the FRC, that's big damage. The sword is out and available, great back dash. But now our hitbox is lingering, and Jacob Hat is just having to suffer the through all spacing. this. spacing, okay, finally, I was wondering, are we going to see a warrant? Are we going to try and get out? But the dog, the worst thing to see when you're fighting Zappa, knock him down, and the dog shows up. Because oh. the dog can act autonomously even if Zappa is in hit stun. <laughs> And Sega Pad kind of in a checkmate situation, running out of meter, gonna get chipped out here sooner or later. Yeah, not good. Blocked that last looking overhead. Wow. Down to just barely a pixel. Oh no! Three. Face the burst! This is a big chance oh, here. My. Has to do as honest, a big comeback as a Testament player ever did. Oh, oh, oh jumps out of jump out. Still, still alive though. Oh, oh the, the forward punch. That wow. forward punch touching his toes. Like, let me check your shoes real quick, Jacob. Hold on, I think they're untied. Instead, tied them together and fell through out of losers. I was, I was for wow. a second there, I'm like, why did, you, why did you force break? Just chip him out. Literally, there was no out for, for Jacob Pat. And who was like, all right, he's never gonna block this overhead. Oh, he blocked it, that's okay, I got 100% like, oh no. Like, Ooh. that's one of those where your blood runs cold on the stage mid-match, you're like, oh, oh no, just hit him. Just, 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 anything, just hit anything. them once, hit them once, I just need one. And then 6P, like and you said. Just dust like, off the shoes a little and everything's all good again. A movie we didn't really we didn't see even like represented the entire yeah. time, but that was just like, hey, I have massive upper body involved during this. Literally to the point where my hitbox, the hitbox is at Zappa's like ankles. Yes. It's just that low. Yeah, so it's, all it's it still a guilty gear forward punch. So and yeah. And then boom, that connected. And you saw Jacob Pat reeling, like, oh my gosh. Yeah. All the experience I have in Booba just played that so well. Yeah. Everything there from multiple block bursts great pressure, utilizing all the summons to great effectiveness. Looking forward to seeing more from them. Yeah. It's no wonder they made it to this top eight. Yeah, no, very impressive showing. And, you know, honestly, pretty good RNG all around. Very little of the triplets. That key, you know, Jacob Pat got a little momentum, gets zapped into the corner. What happens? Wakes up with the dog. I mean, that, that is basically, you have basically bought yourself effectively a free burst or dead angle mm -hmm. because well, RNG was like, yeah, we'll let you have this. Enjoy it. Good boy. There the goodest go. boy is here to back you up. To save the day, right? I would not. I would love nothing more when under pressure in a bad situation. It's like, wake up, my dog's got me. Right? Beautiful. Right? Yeah. All right. So our next match in Losers coming up, what do we got? We have DW Digital Watches going to be taking on Justice. Justice, uh, very, very strong showing so far. Actually, it was who put me and Losers in my pool mm -hmm. to start. And... Uh, Justice is an extremely polarizing character on Plus R. They are the most unique zoner that's ever been built in Guilty Gear. And whether that is a good or a bad thing is up to you. Mm -hmm. um, but I like to tell people that Justice players don't play so much to win. They play to take your fun away. Okay. 
course. Because again, you're here to watch a fighting game. No, you're here to watch, you're gonna watch a schmuck. Yes. I hope yeah, you enjoy. We are gonna play Toho. Yep. But it's it's very fun to see because we also have on the opposite of digital watches, we have the character that's built with zoning tools in Axel. Yes. We have a character with some of the most effective range with normal attacks that can really challenge characters that want to set up and sit that full screen. Yeah. So it creates an interesting dynamic, but what elevates that is DW's propensity to play in a very offensive and manic way to keep you guessing and yes. on your toes. Yeah, you know, she is very good at being like, yes, I'm a zoner, but I will rush you down and I will throw in resets, I'll throw in baits, and, and she will change on the fly. You, you have to be ready for multiple versions of, of Axel right now already. Nice, easy life lead. Yep, goes up, pokes. Oh. The full screen. So here's the thing. This matchup is not fun for Justice for mm -hmm. a plethora of reasons. One of those right there. Justice ever tries to set a nuke without FRC, she's going to get gripped by the full screen unblockable. Mm. All right. Nice to see in the air. Now we're finally seeing our first Michael Sword. Okay. The special move everyone loves to hate. Yep. Oh, with FRC saving okay. it from the yep. red Goes through, through the, the red sin. Very nice. Yep. The overhead. Wow. Beats the burst. Okay. Michael Sword knocked on. Black Sword is pretty even. Nice. Oh, beautiful the catch counter. counter. All right. Will we see a burst here? Not yet. No, at this point, yep. Happy to yep. keep it. Just, and just just says, says, let me keep it. I don't want to get baited. That's that's a bad start to a, a win or go home match. Oh, the, the double counter! counter. counter. Are you kidding that's me? That's so good. I've seen that too many times. The, <laughs> because that is the a, old west draw. It's like an <laughs> armored anti an anti projectile from Axel, but it does have a hitbox. Great reaction from Justice. Now getting tagged though, trying to jump. It's so hard to jump against actual plethora of anti airs, but there's the Michael Sword knockdown. Yep. And now we're playing oh, that we're game. Going the flop, no meter there. Okay. Hits with the rinsing. Catches on the crouching heavy. Really good low move. Alright, that's the bomber. Nice little loops here. Good amount of damage. Gonna set up a one-touch thin area with this knockdown. I like the back out. I really like that play from UW. It's just like I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna let you Michael Sword super me. Mm -hmm. We're gonna we're gonna play it legit. Yep, and the crouching slash anti-air and DW. Pretty convincing all in all there, game one. Yeah, I love the end. Just saying, hey, you have some space, you have some meter. I'm gonna let you just mess up, take the kill without overextending, because you saw that Michael Blade. Yeah. Michael Blade, like, Michael Sword already on itself is some messed up BS. But yeah. then you got a super version of it, get out of here. Yep, We're going back in. And interestingly enough, uh, DW knowing for playing multiple colors of action. Most care most players are like, I got my color, I only want my color. DW switches up all the time. Justice also switching colors in oh, yeah. enough. Never let your opponent know your next move. Right. But speaking of next moves, nice FRC into wow, just that works. keeping full screen, nice. going to Roshosen, but the challenge again, just not letting Justice play the game. You see Justice trying trying to catch anything with the the crouching heavy, hoping that it might hit the hitbox on Axel's chain. You saw the attempt at the counter, nothing doing right now. DW on set point already. Ooh, All DP, right, the DP full conversion too. Catching Axel, putting in the corner. Yeah, nice right, knockdown, right. setting it up. But the back dash yeah, is yeah, good. Good, good wake up back dash from DW. Gets out of dodge. I like that. Just nope. Just gonna poke the nuke. We're not gonna set up shmups right now. Yeah, shmups hasn't really helped too much. Run up grab. DW said, "You want to block? I already know from full screen." Gets the reset. There's oh, the burst. Yeah, and now that, Justice on last leg. Yeah, that was definitely a burst bait, but it manages to reach. All right. Force break dash, we're in there. We're gonna get the knockdown. All right, what's the mix? Just goes low, good patience from Devo. Mm -hmm. Yep, blocks the move. Yeah, just looking for that last hit. Pretty much anything with this much meter is gonna be a wrap. Oh no, RC, but it doesn't matter. We keep oh. the pressure up in DW. Takes out Justice, gonna stay alive in the loser's side of the bracket. Very just clean, honestly. Exactly. Pretty much start to finish. Played it in textbook. Like, yeah. The thing about Justice is because Justice's game is so polarizing, it's so based around, I got big button, I got big nuke. Your game plan is typically very straightforward. It's just really hard to execute for a lot of characters. Yeah. And BW is just like, I mean, we're, just, we're not playing that I'm the zoner here, no, not you. I have the buttons. Your projectiles don't mean anything if you cannot even set them up. And again, this is a character with Justice. You can't move forward, you don't run. Yeah. You have to walk and that just adds the difficulty of getting around those long range buttons. So yeah. DW played that extremely polished, ready to go for that. It's gonna keep advancing through that loser's bracket side. Yeah. They're gonna either be facing against against Wukash or against um, uh, Hono. Yeah. So we'll see a little bit from there, but I'm excited as we go along. But, you know, either way, great stuff to our folks who made it into that seventh place with Jacob, Pat, yeah. and for uh, Justice.
No, even just getting out of your pool in mm -hmm. this bracket is a massive accomplishment. Like, you cannot tell you how stacked every single pool was in this tournament. The, the level of play is super, super high. To get all the way to top eight, you did work this weekend. Oh yeah, no, that medal is hard earned and is a wonderful trophy for all their efforts. So everyone, whichever way they end up in this is just showing why they're some of the finest in North American plus R. So yeah, no, great, really great match as, as it goes through, but you know, yeah. we're down to our uh, final six players. Yeah, no, really good stuff so far. So up next, we're gonna have Hono taking on DW. Cliff versus Axel, another pretty interesting matchup. You know, Cliff likes to be in the air a lot, has those big air buttons. Axel's perfectly content with that. Mm -hmm. right? The the one caveat is where in that last matchup, you know, the chains were very good at just being like, no, Justice, you don't get to move, you don't get to set up. Those chains do have hurt boxes on them. Yep. You know, you can kind of think of them somewhat similar like Dawson. Exactly. They are not projectiles. The only one that is is Rinsen, and that's its own beast because mm -hmm. it's a charge move. But most of Axel's normals, you can counter poke them. And as we mentioned earlier, Cliff, uh, Cliff got some interesting hitboxes, and they typically are better than yours in most situations. So yeah, that's gonna be the fun part. It's like as much as you think you have that spacing advantage, Hono will choose that right option to just kind of blow up either like a 2S doozing to like the jump dust, or just this, just slashing right through, flying at you when you're trying to even hit like a 5P, which it, it makes an interesting dynamic. We'll see yeah. what approach um, DW takes to it. But I think her um, affinity for offense is what's going to shine because she's going to just take it too. You want to yeah. swing at me, she can scramble with the best of them. And we're yeah. going to see that here between uh, both players. Yeah, we'll have to see see what kind of when and where she chooses to do that. Because like we said earlier, Cliff, Cliff is happy to play scrambles, more than happy to play scrambles in this game. So we'll see who converts where, who gets what going. and. Cliff's going to get the button set up here. But yeah, this is, a, this is not a matchup you get to see all that often. Axel is very strong in this mm -hmm. art. Very complete character in this game, but has always been a fairly unpopular character, even when he's strong. Yeah, it, it's, it's always kind of weird. Every, everyone, every character has their own little caveat, and when you look at how other characters operate, look at like, Axel, it's, it's, it doesn't maybe like fit what you yeah. kind of expect in a go to your game, but it can be effective, especially when, like the Digital Watchers, you have old, well over a decade of experience just playing the character in Accent Core in this, yeah. so that does help a lot. So we'll see if that experience will help her against another extremely seasoned uh, veteran yeah. in uh, Hano. Yeah, go, go into it. Got to pick the right song for the occasion. Extremely important when you're on the top eight stage. Got to make everything count. All right, we're going to go to it. DW taking on Hono. Loser goes home. Winner moves on, stays alive. Try and fight back through the loser side. Let's see who's got what as we open up. I love that round start for players giving a little yep. bit of respect and then immediate trading counter hits. I know in the corner, but you know what? We're just diving out. Yep. Early jump D gets a burst at DW and an immediate punish from DW. Up oh, anti air. Like burst. And Hano opts to burst. That was going to be a lot of damage. Possibly getting close to dunk. Went for the counter, doesn't get it. All right, little scramble situation there. All right. You see that big damage can come through for Cliff. Axel not known for having a lot of life, but yep. DW finds a nice hit. Gets a little reset on the drop with the 5K, yep. but wake up. Soul Survivor. Yep. Okay. okay. Oh, tried to punish too early. Okay. Final with a little life. Gets over Rinsen. All right. We go in. Where's the mix? Oh, the, the auto card. In. Really good. All right. Going for the big damage, the forward punch and the knockdown. Nice Goes up and grab. grips. That'll Should do. have enough. Boom. Yep. Just the regular plate serving up around for Hano. Yeah. And again, that's just that offense of Axel not having like an uppercut, but it's very inconsistent, especially at that yep. little range that Hano will kind of stand at. Oh, faints oh, the rest of the, the dodge. So mm -hmm. the important thing about Cliff's dodge, that is not free. Yes, it doesn't cause meter, but that actually raises Cliff's stun modifier. And the more stun Cliff has built up, the more likely he is to have his back go out when he does the dodge. You saw it right there. He flinched. Wow, wake up Soul Survivor again. Okay, guess All right. Down. I like it, the jump D. Yep. Catching a little bit. Missed and the OPG, putting a uh, All right. Nice. RC. Big damage. Serves up another big play into the air dash, into a grab. That, yep. that mix is so hard to do anything about. Yes. Good. Great conversion. Completely burst safe. Mm -hmm. Good. L literal checkmate situation for DW. If she bursts, it's going to whip, you lose. So, and she knew that. That's why you didn't see a burst there. She was hoping maybe there won't be an OTG, maybe it won't be enough. But, so Hano takes game one. All right. Okay. Nice. Yes. Yeah. Explaining the excitement here. 
Oh, puts this, off, puts this one in the corner. Could be a little tricky here. Fights it out, though, with the rents in. Overhead oh, right over Cliff, true. but yep. gets grabbed. Now we're going to take it to the corner. Grandpa's short, man. You can't be going that high if you want to hit him. Nice response to the taunt, Ogie. Yeah, as long as that connects. Yep. Guarantee that Axel will go through the follow-up. It's unhittable as they yep. dash up to the sky. Yep. Has, nice. no, has no hurt box once that animation is started. Okay, nice. RC Rinsen pressure. RC says, I can run up throw as well. And DW with a nice response there. Takes round one in game two. All right, both players sitting on their burst. A lot of the line here. And again, a lot of respect at round start. You saw counter from Axel. Yeah. Speaking of counter, counter yep. catches and goes through with the full extension on the catch counter. Went for the reset, missed it. It's Chuck for the trouble. The counter though, frame one. Yep. Crouching heavy, forces the burst out of Hono. All right, oh, it settles out. This is very nice. Good advantage here for Digital Watches as she runs up, finds that meaty 2H. Yeah, 2H doing work there, and Cliff's probably dead. Looks damaged, extra credit, just enough. Okay, just okay, enough. Okay. A lot very, of guts on that old man's side. Very, and... very good execute there, though, from DW. It's, it, guts crushing is not easy in this game, mm -hmm. man. You gotta know, you gotta have combos that have more hits as opposed to less, you know, more damage. And it, especially, you know, when you get that late in a combo, you miss anything, like yeah. it's gonna drop. That that's that untouchability goes away. Nice counter focus start there from Hono. All right, game. I try to love the option. Yeah. Avoiding the words by just flying across yep. Axel, going back to mid-screen. And that just puts the digital watches in a good position. Runs into the jump, and now it's just a little bit of life loss. Has some pressure here. Again, beautiful FRC. And the fadeaway to avoid the burst. So all this little little decisions paying off so well. Yeah. No. Back and forth here, both players just trying to find that hit, get the offense started. Nice jump. Does have to block the pawn. Jumps away. Okay. And no reset. Oh, with a wow, play. Wow, just lets him, lets bellowing roar rip. And catches good of you. Reflex roar? Not quite. Okay, the challenge here. And good nice, challenge. another catch counter. Gonna yeah. swap sides and give the little watches a lot of good damage here into another knockdown. Oh, chop. Oh, so, okay, gets the burst. That's a big win for Hono. Blocks the chop. No punish, though. Chop is very unsafe, but it has a very weird hit stun yeah. on it. Block stun. So you think, you feel like you can't push a button. No, you push a button way earlier than you think could. But, all right, good chop, knockdown. More damage, too. Oh. Goes for a super jump, avoids the unblockable, tries to taunt, but wow. I like to do the watch again. Wow, stayed in the corner, that was interesting. Wow, counter back. GW's just making great reads right now. Like, just says, I know what you're gonna do, and I'm gonna counter all of it. And every time the taunt, just crossing over, and it's worked out so well, good cancel on the unblockable. Big damage, forces yep. the burst out, but this is hard position for Hono. Oh, what an FRC. Okay, good start. Yep. All right, so now we're gonna get Oki. What's the play? Yep, the counter baits it. All right, do it again. Baits it again. Auto oh. looking real clean right now. Oh, the caught was still on screen. He couldn't put another one out. DW escapes. And just damage should be enough no. to do it with oh, the force. Break my. Axel Bomber. One small mistake, like you said at the beginning. All it takes is one just little misstep, yeah. and all your momentum is gone. And then your opponent runs through great awareness. Digital watches finding that finding the opportunity mm -hmm. to just get some movement, move forth, find a hit, and from there, yeah. Hono's game plan just shattered. Yeah, super unfortunate for Hono there. Got another knockdown. The the taunt kanji just kind of you saw it methodically bounces yep. across screen, and it slowly goes off screen. And while you couldn't see it on screen, it hadn't actually dissipated. Mm -hmm. You cannot do another round of taunt while there's any of the kanji left on screen, even if they're not visible. So maybe a frame, maybe two early there. And then you have an old man literally yelling at Cloud. Yeah, and, yeah, and you know what happens. Unfortunate, because, I mean, Ono had the mix. Like, he was like, Everything was you there. can wake up and counter all you want. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to keep taking my knockdown. You're not going to escape. So if that last taunt comes out, there's a good chance that Hano takes that round. You never know where it's going to go from there. But like you said, one frame, one frame too early is uh, one free trip out of the bracket, unfortunately. So that's going to do it for Hano. Yep. And top eight, DW stays alive. Yep. She'll be going to the loser semis, where she'll be awaiting the winner of our next match as we are getting up to Booba versus Lucas. We're going to have Biken versus Zappa. Another really, really hectic match between two great characters yeah. and two great players. I, I, they're. All right, we're going to do an ad here first before we get in this match, match, folks. Pay some bills, so don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with more Top 8. All right, welcome back to Frost 2015. We're here for more Top 8 action. Good to hear Action Corporal. I'm Rob with Clage. 
and we've had a share of amazing matches to lead us to this point. We're going to be continuing on that loser's side. Yep. Who, do we go, who do we have on deck? Going to have Wu Cash, the local Chicago native, taking on Booba, Biken versus Zappa. This is, uh, again, two very strong characters going to go at it. A lot of, a lot of interactions you don't see in, in most matchups. Zappa, of course, pretty much always low profiling everything because of the nature of the character. Mm -hmm. Viking says, you want to do block strings? Cool, you're in my wheelhouse. So it's going to be a very interesting dichotomy to see how both players approach this. It's one of the, this is definitely one of those matchups, like if you don't have a lot of experience, it's going to show yeah. almost immediately. So it looks like, uh, we'll see for both of me, and then that we know uh, Wu Cash has been around the block, won the last uh, plus R major yeah. in a great fashion. But, you know, Booba is like that weird X factor. Yeah, what are they having the tank? Because taking out a legacy player in Jacob Pat, now going up against Wu Cash, the yeah. sky is the limit for Booba. Let's begin already yeah. with the command run, yeah. getting out of there with the flip over and. I think we're going to see a lot of pressure here from Mukash, yeah. Yeah, I think, yeah, I think Mukash typically is a, a fairly aggressive player. You know, biking off, you know, it's like, oh, this is defensive character. Yes, but she's also very good at, at coming at you and locking you down. So, not going to want to let Zappa like, get set up. Nice run grab. Going to get the corner throw. Doesn't, yep. Zappa's hitbox just too small for that. Hey, nice little attempt. And then we got the sword out. Booba yeah. escapes situation. Nice FRC. And now just building up some damage. Nice. Wow, back what a back dash. dash. It's swapping sides. Very nice. Goes out to the TK Yozansen. And Bukash takes game one. TK Yozansen, what an overhead. So fast. Oh, not it, just unreactable, man. It's so strong. Yeah. It's a really good option picking up there. And again, Bukash just shooting right oh, up. Ooh, oh, sword. Kid bar. Wait a minute. Hello? Wow, that was a great check by Booba to just be like, oh, you want a Kabari? No, I don't think so. I'm out. Oh, burst in and got the sword back anyway. Yeah. It's working out so well for Booba. Not even as scared of the guard cancels at this point. Even just hesitated a little bit, giving some space. But it's so hard to catch, especially with how low he goes to the ground, like you mentioned with low profile. But oh, Baku, Baku. All right. going to seal off the, the slash button here on Zappa. But Interesting. Nice Locks out slash. Okay. Yep. Runs up. Grabs. All right. There's the pickup and the reset. We got big damage coming out. All right. Yep. We have those. Oh, drop though. Yeah. Try to get the 6 there. Did not work out. But still, we catch with some great pressure here. Oh! oh Suzeron into Baku again. Okay. We're locking out hard slash this time. And no burst. At this point, you gotta yep. take all this. There's yep. the grab. You, you cannot can't, tech you can't, through can't it. Tech grab. Nothing you can do there. Oh, oh, went for the reset again. Didn't get it. The hard slide should not get. Bates the burst with Suzeron, but doesn't close it out. And here come the ghost triplets. There's a pixel of life. Oh, trying to beat out, and then the jump heavy, the ghost oh, explosion. The ping Booba pong. brought that back so The so ping well. pong ball came out at just the right time, interrupted Blue Cash's poke, and Booba takes advantage. Nice little extension there. Booba gets the the, the, the haunt yep. and finds another hit from the golf ball. This is looking, looking for Blue Cash. Half life already gone, already on the triplets. Now the sword's in play. Yeah. Yeah, a little bit of favorable RNG, and Booba is making the most of it right now. Beautiful jump cancel to block the Baku, and now oh. is about to summon Rao. Yeah, I was going to say, trying to get Rao. Interesting option against Viking, just because Rao has, you know, gigantic hitboxes. Let's see what happens here. Next summon will be Rao, unless it's a wake-up. All right, and there we go. Yep. One gun, blocking the first more time, goes Baku. for the overhead, oh, but in Too far, too far. That uppercut is three frames, friends. It's really good. Nice dead angle, I like that. Yep, they run up, run up. Yep. You want to guard cancel? What if you don't guard? Run yep. up, throw, and tying up the, taking the game. That was big. Yep. I love that good round from Woolcash to start things off. But then Booba just, whatever summon, we haven't seen the dog uh, presented, but between the sword and the triplets, yeah. used to almost perfection. Yeah, really, really well done there. Like I said, bit of fortune. What item comes out when you're cursed by the triplets is random. It can be the banana, the golf ball, or the plotted plant falls from the sky. The golf ball came out at exactly the right time, and Lula, like you said, took full advantage, and now is up a game in this crucial set. Right, nice counter poke to Trashing S. Good uppercut. Well, I always had the full extension there. Nice yeah. burst of cash, but a lot of life gone already. Woo! The far slash, the, the, the vomit being clashed with. Yeah, oh, face oh, the burst, oh, but dog. Oh. <laughs> Just what you think you got it going on. Oh, Here comes the good boy. It hurts so much. You, you make a beautiful play. You make the exact read. You do everything you're supposed to, and you're punished because, yes, the whole knee is here. Bark, bark, my friend. And every time in this pressure, all these jump cancels to avoid the guard cancels. 
Boo Boo with a lot of good answers. Ooh, butter hit Orin. We got hit. the full extension. Yep, this is good. Oh, he drops it! But the reset, though? Okay. Another oh, extension here. We got enough. Get knocked down. Yeah. Quite. Where's the mix? Ah, that might have kind of looked like it might have been TKO Zonson. It didn't come out. And ugh. What a knockdown. So that far slash, the vomit, it is a projectile hitbox. But if it lands, it makes a low that you have to avoid or yeah. you get knocked down. It works out for Boo Boo Boo. It finds a grab. Going to get the southern here. Triple throw back in. There's the haunts. And now Hano tied a 2 H. Didn't work out. Cash down, no burst right now. Down to set point already, trying to get some momentum. Pretty even on life right now, though. The jump over the whip punish. Yep. Big damage here. Nice Hold FRC the for more. Yep. Now Wukash has to get past that sword. Not even an easy task, even for Viking. All right, Suzeron to get through. Does it again. All right, catches with Kibari. All right. Nice yeah. confirmed here. Academy combos. Have the Wukash, I see you, but drops the very end. Might have been a bait. That is a small punish. Try to get out. Look like a guard cancel gone wrong. Yep. Beautiful air throw. Now we're down to one-touch scenario. Wait, super, super it reaches. Work. All right, now Big what? Damage with the sword Work again. Comes, the sword is back. Four punch. And the hit, and that's going to do it. Booba. I want Booba's luck. Like, can Booba play the lottery did, for me? Did, did he steal Bozak's soul? Did he steal the, the Frosty Faustings RNG and, and incorporate it in himself? This, I mean. Look, RNG is a thing, even in fighting games, and it's one thing to get it, it's another thing to capitalize on it. And every single time, Boo was like, oh, cool, thanks, I'll use this. It's just, just crazy yes. how it just worked out just so well in every little, like, avenue of it. Like, even, like, any time that Wukash just was, worked for an opportunity, just taken away mm -hmm. because out comes the dog, here comes that sword again, but whichever win really was present, Again, Booba's just yeah. awareness of it yeah. and capitalizing of it. Whatever the scenario, especially being hit, was always ready. So yeah, one of the one of the big underrated challenges of playing a character like Zappa, and as you can see, Zappa's pretty cracked, mm -hmm. like pre just truly a ridiculous character. But he requires extreme situational awareness. On top of you have to learn effectively five different move sets. Mm -hmm. Like your move set, your punches and kicks stay the same in almost everything. Everything else, you've got to learn something brand new, whether it's the triplets, the dog, the sword, or Rao. It's all different. Yep. So to have that situational awareness and go, okay, I got the hookup, but I'm going to make sure the hookup is worth it. Like, I'm going to make sure I get the most out of it. And just really, really good show. Booba is just putting a Moving stamp through? on this tournament This right is, now. like I said, the wild card. This yeah. is a player that is showing up and really just taking it to, again, legacy players left and right yep. saying, hey, I got this Zappa that you you think you know the character. What right. is taking it to a really good level. So just, you know, no sh no shortage of just amazingness. Yeah. And, and I look forward to what comes more from them because this is just a start. Yeah, Because I've not seen Booba really before, even no. all last year with Plus R. No, and I, I, I mean, I, I'm grinding Plus R almost every single night because, I mean, why wouldn't I? Rollback's <laughs> amazing. Replay Takeover is amazing. I get to play my character. And I, I don't know that I've ever seen them on. So, this, like, this was truly out of left field. And, I mean, how can you be anything but just completely impressed? Like, super good situational awareness. Like, excellent play, both in neutral, up close. Really good counter poking. And, and, and that's not easy to do with Zappa. Zappa has a very unorthodox set of buttons. Like, he's, he's not built like a typical Guilty Gear character. So to use those to their best effect, is takes a lot of time and effort and, and you know a lot of matchup experience. Clearly, clearly that has been a lot of replay takeover. <laughs> yeah, a lot of replay takeover. Replay takeover <laughs> is the truth, my friends. I it's love real it. good. All right, all right. So up next, it's time for winners finals. We have the man all the way from across the ocean, Kadako, going to take on Safari May versus Testament. Mm -hmm. it's not what? a matchup you see a lot. I love our top four that we yeah. have sitting here. We have like Testament, Zappa, okay. checks out. Yeah. May, Axel. Yeah. Hello. I love it. And I, we're gonna see. We're now into three out of five territory. So we're gonna yeah. see these full sets to take it to the grand finals. You have to win three whole games, which is, you know, when you go from two out of three to this, it's a little bit more breathing room, but also more pressure if you're the player that's going down 2-0, If you're not able to match yeah. these scores, obviously, and keep it up. tends to favor, you know, who can adjust, who's mm -hmm. very good, you know, at adapting. And we saw, you know, in that first set with, with Wukash, Ketiko very, very effective at, at making a quick adaptation, adjusting the game plan, realizing he found a couple things that were, you know, 
not being countered by, mm -hmm. by Wu Cash and just abuse them to great effect, you know. It's something I that's something I love to see out of top players and, and you know, a lot of young players, newer players are guilty of, oh, I, I shouldn't keep doing this because eventually it's gonna stop working. No, that's not your problem. That's their problem. If they can't pass a litmus test, you make them fail it until they don't. You drill it into them. You yeah. beat them over the head with it and you know, whatever works. That's the, the key part is finding that weakness in your opponent yeah. or forcing it and taking advantage of it. So we'll see if either player can do it to each other because both excellent at their characters, yeah. foundationally super solid, you know. So we'll, we'll see how it goes out, but you know, expect a marathon and expect a lot of adjustments back and forth between uh, Kadako and Safri. Yeah, very much so. And it, it'll be interesting because May obviously has, she has some very good hitboxes mm -hmm. that, you know, tend to be a little bit disjointed, not a typically easy character to anti air. But she's also not, you know, playing at max range. She doesn't have a lot of ways to just go, okay, I'm going to make sure this web doesn't activate when I get over there. You know, force break dolphin, things like that can do it, but that's a high commitment. You're spending meter for something like that. Using the regular dolphin, very, very dicey in a matchup like this because, you know, if you get through one net and there's another one behind it or a tree on the ground yep. where you land, well, you're about to have a big sad. So I'll be really curious how Kadako approaches this match. You know, there's no shortage of amazing testaments in Japan. Exactly. You know, Kes Keske, the revelation of mankind, arguably the best plus R player in the world, uh, who wanted to actually come, unfortunately couldn't make it. So shout out to Keske. Always, if you've never gotten a chance, you're up late, uh, check out his streams. If you want to see just some of the most ridiculous testament play and also a really good pocket Potemkin when he feels like trolling. There you go. Um, but so I'll be very curious to see how this matchup is approached from Kadako. It's gonna, gonna require some, you're gonna have to be a little creative. You can't just swing the anchor around in a matchup like this. Yeah. So we'll right see on. what happens. Alrighty, draws first blood and here we go. Already in the corner we go and you see like nice instant blocks from Safri, mm -hmm. good sacrifice from Kadako, but the good blocks earned a nice hit. And now we're already setting up, escaping the corner. The this, is Kadok, yep. this is a Safri just one to get space. There's the master of puppets. So now he's gonna dictate with the power tree that's set. Forces the burst out from Kadako, and now one tree gone. It's a big boom, but a counter hit confirmed. Safri staying in positions where realizing that's where Kadako really wants to go and challenging it. Wow, lands on the EXE beast after the rest of roll. All right, little punish. Got a little breathing room. Rest of roll. Wow, might have been a warrant attempt. Unsure. All right. Oh, the All right, Kadako just kind of. Why do I feel like? We're having a feeling out period here. Like just kind of testing, seeing what works. Figures I've got a giant life deficit. Let's see see what in the tank I have that might be effective. Wow, just letting Badlands rip. Oh, catches the back dash, but that's a great option Ooh, against the counter hit. Counter hit again. Testament's gotta be careful. You're gonna get stunned here real quick. You need one more counter hit. Oh, it's just like that. Mm. I'm, I'm, amazed, I'm amazed the portrait is not flashing. It, I'm exactly. actually shocked. <laughs> it is not glowing red. There, there it is. is. There's yeah. the stun. Good Just night. like that, we're going to get just a simple confirm. One, two, three. Maze, massive damage showing in spades after that stun. Kidako tying up the round, and that was just catching these heavies. All right. Oh, good, the good the awareness beast. there from Kidako. Got the counter. He's like, nope, can't do anything. The XE Beast is out. It's not going to go away. Right, so check in with the forward heavy. heavy. FRC, you get a full confirm. One hit Badlands. Hit all combos, because it doesn't, wow, okay, does not get the one hit Badlands there. That's uh, that's kind of a big drop. You want those knockdowns, this testament. Uh, awareness of that uh, net there. Gets the worn out. Oh, the trade has so much stun yeah. on Safri. But the oh. net saving from the Dolphin. Yep. Gonna get the hard knockdown. The Beast comes out the overhead. Okay. There's the burst. And now he's off the one last legs. May with a lot of guts and a little bit of life with the jump pack. P. It was just another punch and Safri just being, knowing where Kadako wants to go. If you're going to the air so much because you don't want to deal with Testament's buttons on the ground, Safri will meet yeah. you there, got the air to air and sealed the deal. And that's yeah. up one for Safri. Yeah. We'll see, uh, we'll see uh, now Now it's adjustment time, right? Three out of five set. Let's see what Kadako do, see, if, see what the game plan uh, evolves to. I'm sure what that was. Yeah. Might've been a missed input. All right, kind of hit kick, yep. Makes the warrant, looking good. All right, first used by Safri. Well, I think the challenging at this range with May, jumping right above Testament where there's no like, easy answer and like testing to see what Safri does. But as long as Kadoka can keep her cornered, it'll work no out. No punish. Oh, oh, that's unfortunate. Really wanted the punish there, couldn't get it. All right, yep, the overhead, so hard to block. Yeah, now there we go, Master of Puppets, we're gonna set up. There's one tree on the ground, Kadoka has to be wary of it. Block yep. the skull. 
is patient, dares to dolphin, but the tree is still waiting in the wings. It is not a good look here. Let's it rip. Yep. I like it. Armor's all the way through. Yep. But Safri grabs the hit. Already on. Looking for a second game here early on. Kodako trying to find the adjustments. Yeah, big time advantage for Safri. Hevitating in the air, using the web to stay airborne. Messed up Kodako's wake up timings. The beast comes out though. Opportunity and right, a base punish. to throw. I love that from yeah. Kodako putting Good in look. the corner. There we go. There's the mix. I like it. Catching the horse break with that. Yep. Looking for that stun. Oh, Looking for the stun. There it is. Oh my goodness. Do it again. Oh, he drops it. But thought the punish on the warrant. Final hit, and I'm, there's that the five. We'll the, take it. Yeah, we'll the, take the, the, it. The K recovery. There, Aaron Balkman with no FD. Yep. Safri getting touched by it. And now Kajako trying to enter back, tie things up one to one, but find the close Woo, slash. Another counter hit heavy. That's big damage. Oh, comes down, gets the burst. All right, Dolphin. Where's the mix? All right, burst from Safri. Both players are out of burst now. Nice little advantage here, Kadako's side. Runs mm. past the skull. Yeah, avoids it very nice there. But Safri again getting the preferred range. Is able to kind of sit like. Alright, and we're in. Oh wow, didn't get the confirmed against this. Alright, here we go. Knock down, jump heavy again. And again, going in the air, crossed nice. over. Air air grab. Grab. Kadako. What and there it there. is. There's the adjustment. Kadako takes game two. Very, very nice. I love that pressure. Again, it's these like corner jumps where it's like you cannot warrant because May's gonna get a full jump in on there. Yep. And it's like you you have to maybe commit to like running forward under it. But it's so tricky because May can just has the yeah. ability to air dash back yeah, and land does, on you. Yeah, it doesn't particularly have a great answer for that sort of pressure. It's just one of the very few weaknesses in their game. So punish. Yep, very nice. 2D simple and corner. In. Wow. You think it's a run forward, but nope. And it's the overhead base, kiss. The a nice punish. Kadako is feeling it now. Yep. Ooh, okay. Empty low. Oh, this is the extension though. All right. Yeah, no jack count. There's the beast. Not Put the grab because yeah. he blocked in the air, right. Safi. In a rough right. position here, Kadako just the it. Oh, the, oh, wow, okay. A little bit of life here, the overhead. First is baited, that's really scary for Kadako, trying to get in, waiting, waiting. Looking for that last kick. What a block, Kadako ran waiting. up, got hit by the Ford Heavy, had no meter oh, for no, the overhead. Big damage from Safley with the setup, oh, the grab. Here we go. It's gonna be enough. Mm -hmm. Gotta crush those guts. No, oh, drops easy. it, a big drop, and the Dolphin! Right on your dome, Kadako takes round one after, you know my man's was breathing heavy for a minute. For the, sure. The sweat was real, but a good clutch conversion. What a conversion. Off the anti-air kick, and now look at this. Safley finding a hit, there's the overhead. Yeah, yet again. Nice back back dash. Dash. Okay. All right, we're out. And now we're just back into that battle of normals. Have to watch out. If Safi gets hit by any of those heavies, it's going to mean big damage and gives the Dolphin a life lead with the net. Yep. Out, of the, out of the picture uh, now. Punish There's the, the punish. Dolphin. Okay, yep. Full punish. Nice. Jump out on the teleport. All right, forward heavy. Get the conversion. Oh, I, see you, oh, the I see you, Kadako. I see you, Kadako. That's a stun. Where's the... And takes it. Kadako. Game two. All first say when you are in stun you cannot burst out of it until after the first hit if it's not a grab charging the forward heavy getting the most damage out of it to seal the deal on that yeah. last hit just beautiful, beautiful play absolutely beautiful play from kadako says this is what it looks like when you're playing plus r on a handheld at home if they had it on the phone you know kadako will be matching that practicing right? all times right Gotta love the conversion. Those combos are not easy, by the way, folks. Those are forward punches into charges. Not an easy thing to do. Kadako making the most of it. I like that burst. Get out of the corner, don't want to deal with this. Not gonna go play in your dirty attic right now. Counter hit, jump heavy. Roll, the All the way down, down the elevator. I see you, Kadako. All right, jumps out of the command grab, though. I like that punish with the jump dust yep. on the punishing on the overhead kiss. Nice the back back again, dash. Kadako really Safri cannot dash. keep any pressure. Yep. All right, Kodako picking, picking his spots, being aware of the XEDs. Not oh, gets through the board, and then gets, gets the super, and Kodako on set point. Every time, in the corner, just staying at right above Testament's head. Testament can't see up there. Yeah. What's going on? All right. Nice avoidance, doesn't get a better punish like last time. I, I do like that Kodako is flashing overhead kiss. He's like, no, it's still there. You do have to account for this. You're not just gonna stand there. Dolphin, all right, get through the tree. That was so smart. Yeah, that was really nice. But then Safri finding a clean hit. Dropped though. Oh, didn't get. Safri looking a little ragged here. 
Okay, go through the first dust we see. Might yeah. be setting up for something a little bit later. But right All now, Pinato's right. gonna just jump over it. May's got great jumps. Yeah. I'm gonna avoid Fastest like that. Fastest jump start of the game for it. Heavy full combo. Oh, oh, that was a dangerous burst. Counter hit. All right, counter poke in the air. Pinato trying to close out this set. All right, that's gonna be a conversion though. Oh, drop! Oh, it's gonna be a huge drop. Another air unblockable. Rest of the oh. cross up. You and are blocking that, more. my guy. You, you are blocking that, that, my guy. You can't block these grabs. You can't get out. There's no escape from Kadako May. Kadako takes it. 3-1 over Safri. That first game, Safri looking really good. Nice clean play. Really, really flustering Kadako. And then as soon as as soon as the light bulb went on, he's just like, okay, I'm I'm good now. That was a fun feeling out. Like a feeling out moment. You mentioned now, it. now it is time to stun you. You mentioned it at the, before the set even started. It's all about finding that one thing a player cannot deal with or doesn't have Absolutely. the answer to, yep. presenting it over and over again. That was basically just super jumping right above Testament yep. every time, and Safi just having no answer. So much momentum was given off that, that it was making Safi shaking on the fence. We yeah. saw in Kadako's first match against Wukash. Once Wukash started relying on just up backing, that spelled doom, and we saw yep. how that ended with Safri trying to jump away, and Kadako was like, Checkmate. Yeah, no, you saw the entire neutral game play was just, I just need to get you to the corner. I need to limit your movement options. Once I'm on top of your head there, what are you gonna do? Your, your testament, it's, there's no answer for that. You saw it towards the end, you know, basically throwing the kitchen sink. We saw random supers, mm -hmm. we saw, you know, letting Badlands rip, stuff like that. And Kadak was just like, all right, cool. I, I live in your head now, this game is mine. And just once off to the races, once it got going. So just, uh, yeah. again, those longer sets, all about the player who adjusts. Kadako did, and Safri couldn't adjust back. So a 3-1 victory, and Kadako will await someone in grand finals here at Prop 2015, looking yeah. to take home one of the biggest plus R tournaments ever. In a long, long time. It's yeah. gonna be a beautiful thing. And I mean, for the, one of their first trips to Frosty, that's gonna be a great memento, but it's not over until it's over. Three, you know, three players waiting in this loser yep. side for that attempt to challenge. We're gonna go down to that loser semis as we're gonna have our final two out of three match here at Frosty Thompson Plus R between Booba and Digital Watches. So we're gonna have Axel versus Zappa. Yeah. Booba's been on a really good train, beating legacy player after legacy player. Yeah. We saw Jacob Pat, we saw Honora, now Digital Watches is up to bat. Yeah. Can Booba keep up this almost imm immaculate run yeah. through this loser side in top eight, or can Digital Watches kind of offbeat Axel style present the problem that Booba has no answer for. Yeah, and interestingly enough, Axel actually considered one of the characters who fights Zappa mm -hmm. exceedingly well. You know, usually you don't hear about Axel quite in that top, top, you know, character talk, but Axel is very effective at fighting Testament, very effective at fighting Viking, and very effective at fighting Zappa. So this is gonna be an era, this is one of those where it's like clearly Booba has, as we've seen, has put in the time, has done it. Got a lot of matchup XP we're seeing, very, you know, well viewed, well, Thought out play, a lot of good situational awareness, putting putting knowledge to use and, and making the most of it. Axel is not a matchup you get to fight very often. There That's just true. aren't that many Axels, and there are even fewer elite Axels to really get a feel for. And like you said earlier, none of them play like DW. DW exactly. is very unique in how she pilots this character. So is Booba ready for that? Are you ready for a you know, even if you fought Axel, if you haven't fought DW, you, you haven't fought this yeah. Axel. You fight, yeah, you can fight as many Axels as you want, but fighting her is a different feat itself. But again, fighting Booba is kind of the same way. No one's shown that ability to deal with Booba, despite yeah. as much history with the yeah. game, as so. much experience. So it kind of goes both ways, and it's going to make it exciting to see, because it's just one of those like first times you get to see both these players face off against each other you know, those adaptations are gonna be short and sweet because this is just a two out of three. So it's a little more stressed, but it's not gonna make it any short, any less amazing. Yeah. All right, we're going in here. <laughs> Loser semis. Winner moves on to take on Savory. Loser will be going home out in fourth. And right now, DW off to a nice start. Puts his the corner, but the doggo, but immediately a race. And doggo again. Okay, there's good see, boy DW is out. just like, nah, max range. All right, so finally goes in and immediately uppercutted for the trouble. So yeah, now Haunted has to watch out. Another great, great air grab, and that's a big start for Booba. Air grab with the reset off of the summons, and now just getting these grabs and recognizing that, you know, yeah. Digital Watch is one of the Booba's block. pro game is actually kind of crazy. Not gonna lie, I'm super impressed. 
Yeah, every time. No wait, recognize situations. It hasn't really come up where it was uh, either uh, jumped out. There's the burst. Okay. Yep. Booba with a small bit of a dangerous lead. burst there, but got away with it. The GW right back in. Good damage here. Good yep. meter on Booba's side. Might see a DP into RC, but I think the Walker's going to have an answer for it. Yep. All right. He's able to get out. No summon out right now. All right. And we've got the sword. All right. Now let's deploy it. All right, GW's in. Unlike the dog, the sword cannot do anything with Zappos and Blaster. Oh, this is an uppercut. Nice and so weird. Stay at a great distance, the backdash even. Sword's not available, but it just comes back just in time. Next hit could be huge for either player. Yeah, no. Booba's not trying to extend too far, running out of resources. Might get chipped out. And wow, nice. just a jump, jump heavy. heavy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. GW, very good. You saw both players are like, Wow, I really don't want to go forward here. This this kind of sucks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And now, first one to go forward is Booba. Yep. Had the dog combo, but gets to watch him first out. Under pressure here, finds a grab. Yep, all right. Get full combo. Axel does get full combos off his grab. Oh, but immediately. All right, we're cursed. Double ghost. Okay. All right, with the Renson, Renson on the back dash. Good, good call out. Yeah, very nice. Renson FRC. Wow. Calls out the overhead, and the doggo is behind. Yep, immediately good. Great position. Gets the doggo back. Gets the sandwich situation. Oh my, we got those. We're keeping How it long is it going to go? Oh How long man. is it going to go? Recognize that this is all on pad. Booba is showcasing such great execution in a game you don't normally see playing on that kind of controller. Yeah. Beautiful. Try to go for air throw. No dice. Almost a chance for Digital Watchers to get a big oh, hit. And there's the punish. Oh, panic burst from DW. Oh, but has the corner. Can we do something with this? All right. I like this from Booba. He's like, I don't have to take any more risks. And the cross up. <laughs> Jump heavy only hits cross up. Yeah. It will not hit forward, so that is such a great movement. That's almost every Woo! jump heavy. There's the counter. Going to get nice little extension of damage here. Kind of force a reset, but Booba was patient for it. Right. That does combo from that range, unfortunately. And the sword. All right, here we go. Okay. Right now, W with no burst whatsoever. That whiff burst is a big problem right now. There's a good chance she will not get burst back this round unless it goes extra long. Oh, train places. That full screen pressure here. Runs oh, under wow. the jump slash. The second hit coming back. There's the burst. A, a scary burst from Booba. Yeah, see, two, two of those now. He's got away with both of them. Got to take advantage of that now. Ooh, right, the dog okay. All right, nice. Gets rid of that. But the dog is back. Nope, never mind. I lied. He's gone. He comes and goes as he pleases. Yeah. He goes. And now we're right at full screen game. The triples are available. Right. Bits the hitboxes on Axel's normals. That yep. really helps out with those triplets. There's the cross up. Nice block from Digital Watches. Oh, going in. And gets the cross up at the last second. Oh, this is a huge round for Digital oh, Watches. Yeah. Oh, One this hit is away. the FRC. That would have been a kill. Yep, I, the Digital Watches classic. DW loves to do the flop at the end of rounds when she has 50% meter to burn. Because even if you manage to block it, okay, cool, you're not punishing this, and yep. I'm plus. Awesome. We are talking about it earlier. I was solid bones on commentary. It was like, yeah, so Axel just used W's Thunderbolt. No, it's not Thunderbolt, but they both have it because they're both British. Right, right. There you go. Exactly. <laughs> All right, early burst of GW is immediately baited, now cornered with the sword. So Booba says, all right, that first game didn't exactly go my way. Let's just go right back in. Yeah, I like that. Early first hit, not trying to get the haunts on top of the watches. There's a hit on there, so now has an avenue in with the uh, projectiles coming down. There's the golf ball four, and nice damage. Yeah, gets the most out of it there from the triplets. Curse yet again, all right. Booba with a really comfortable life lead right now. Has the sword out. Oh, the challenge, air to air. Yep. And goes low profiles, the jump thrust. Reset, Reset the overhead, and that'll yep. beat around. Booba takes round one of game two, getting on the board here. Okay. Catches the jump back, nice I like that. Nice call out, yeah, Forward good call kick. out. DW really Ooh. varying up for round start options, but now first again. Booba's ability to land ghosts has been really impressive. It's not that easy to get people to get smacked by ghosts. Not at all. Booba's making it look real easy. Yeah, good it. Oh, make it easy. Ooh. Great anti-air confirmation. Gets a small little reset, but the run yeah. under. Oh, Doggo gets knocked out, but punished OGG. for your crime. Yep. Sword is out. Tries to rinse in. Good jump out by Booba. Looking for the counter. Nothing doing. The profile again, forcing uh, oh, wow. to the what block. a jump in. Yep, the reset. Oh, oh. Yeah. DW, this is like, I, it's too much. Too much mix. I need to burst. I need to get out, get a little momentum. All right, nice low profile. That's what you can do, I can do two. And nice little damage to finish it yep. off. Lightly like, for digital watches. Oh, oh, wow. oh, oh my god, got chucked. Yeah. Get in the dog, though. Gotta be careful. Doggo is waiting. Oh, 
Oh. The X, Axel Bobber. Nice FRC on the other Axel yeah, Bobber wow. down. Rarely had to, see that. Had to burn all the meter, but does get out. Veins the Oh, which Got creative, and it doesn't quite get there. And Booba takes game two. Okay. Booba really was throughout all of like the, the Rishosin faints, yes. not jumping forward or falling for it. But as soon as you see a real one come out, hot forward, full punish, tied one to one. Last game between Booba yeah. and the Watchers. Yeah. DW might have went one layer too deep on that end around there, trying to, to catch with the Rishosin and didn't get there. But now. It's the final game, winner moves on to loser's finals, loser goes home and fours, and DW with a nice start here. Yeah. There's the final game to summon though. Yep. That's at least a start if Booba can find these hits, but Digital Watch is kind of content. With a little bit of bar, gets a 2k, and, and now more pressure. The sword immediately comes back, takes the resolution. This time just runs up and says, no, I, I see what you're doing. Should have enough here. There we go, the and loops are coming through, it, down, yep. yep. Nice execute from DW. DW on set point. Yeah, big clean hit. Who confirmed? Booba kind of uh, cracking a little bit here on defense. There's the call out with the jump. He beats the uh, forward heavy. Yeah, very nice there. Dog goes out. You see DW just like, all right. Dog gets it behind. I like that burst. Just like, nope, I don't want to deal with this. I saw it once. I don't, I'm not interested in playing Doggo games again. Oh, wow. What a stand kick as a counter poke there. I mean, it, beat, it kind of has like a beat some low, a little interesting. Out of dodge, oh. but no FRC to save yeah. you, unfortunately. Nice air throw again. More pressure, and I like this as Booba's oh. getting a huge life lead. Going to try to take it to a round three at the full combo, by the way, folks, and so much. Yep. Some, wow, two run-unders there from Booba. So good. Utilizing that Zappa low profile. Just says, you ain't blocking your toes on this side. He's a jump scare character. You think you're safe and just run the other side. Not wrong. It's so spooky, but... Oh, the punish! That's yep. going to be a nice little hit. And so, so far, uh, oof. Both characters are going to have burst here very shortly. So pretty much dead even at the moment. Nice. Yep, doesn't bait the burst. All right. Booba is out of get out of jail free cards for the time oh, being. I like Go that. first. There's a triple. That's been the most effective summon. We've only seen it just again, but yep. Digital Watch just finds the punch into the full combo going, going for coast all to coast. Of it. Says, I want all of this damage. It's a black beam. We don't care. It still counts. All right, gets rid of Doggo. Crossed over on the counter hit. Yep, OTG Doggo is back. Immediately positioned into the sandwich. A nice up back. Yeah. Dunk, slash, does it too heavy. Two, one more solid hit here. Yeah. He's gonna watch this finish the dog. Chip, Chip yep. is yep. even a factor too. The yep. dog is not gonna save you now. Doggo's there, and yep. The down chain, and DW clutches it all the way out, stays alive. Booba with a very, very impressive run here for Aussie Fast and 15, but it does come to an end here in fourth place. But truly, truly just impressive. Like, again, you know, I'm not going to claim I know every single player because there's so many new plus R players. But to have a name I've never seen, never even seen online, it's just like, yo, I'm here. I'm going to get fourth at Frosty Fasting 15, one of the most stacked plus R brackets ever seen. Real, real impressive. Great showing. No, for sure. It's like we're going to have to remember that name as as silly as it is. <laughs> as silly as it's been to say Booba for like right? multiple matches through. You know what you're doing, kid. Well, you're and not. You keep it up, all right. You're not just gonna edit your next reel to just be like 35 quick edits of you saying "booba, booba, booba." booba. Yeah. Someone will. That's not my job. That's true. That's for that's for the the, the content vultures. Enjoy, that enjoy the internet. A yes. Yeah. Uh, and that's a YouTube poop in the making. Yeah. So we'll look, looking forward to the YouTube short of that. You can yeah. get revenue on that now. Yep. The booba cut. That'd yeah. be fun. Exactly. So. <laughs> so all right. Up next, we're gonna have our losers finals: DW versus Safri again. Axel, not afraid to fight these top tier characters. That's right. So, this is going to be an interesting match. As far as I know, these two players do play quite a bit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. As far as I know, they're very familiar with one another. So, good, good chance you see one of those situations where you see some interactions that make you tilt your head, and that's what happens. Two players play a lot. You start going to layer two, layer three, layer 978 very quickly. And you're starting there, too. So it's going to be fun to watch this battle of, like, the players more so than the characters. So you don't really want to miss it, especially considering, you know, Digital Watch is making that huge loser's run yeah. on her end. Safri only the only losing to Kadako so far. Yeah. yeah so interesting to see how whichever one makes it that like grand finals, what their answers are going to be. We kind of saw what we saw from Safri there. I don't know what adjustments she'll make from now until then if she has to fight him again. Right. But I'd be curious to kind of see the May versus Axel because that's another one of those matches where it's like, 
Here's big hitboxes versus a character that extends his hurtboxes. Yeah. So it can be kind of fun. Yeah. But before we get to Definitely. that, you've got to consider, okay, so let's take a look at Testament versus Axel. Yeah. Testament like we saw, or not Testament, but uh, Axel like we saw against Justice earlier. Mm -hmm. Being able to check the character from setting up. Being able to kind of hit at a range where it exceeds that character's like really good range. So it's going to give Axel kind of a leg up to be a pest and to find a way to, you know, be a little bit of a nuisance. Yeah, definitely. As we power up and we see everyone's kind of rituals, is yeah. Digital Watches summoning all the power from the Earth to see if they can win this set. Another three out of five. Yeah, no, again, got to go the distance now. It's three out of five the rest of the way home. So no quick, easy outs at this point. And again, you know, the, these long sets, it is all about who can adjust the quickest, you know? Mm -hmm. Both these players are too talented. You're, you're going to get hit. Like, Somebody's gonna score a counter hit or get a knockdown, get their game going. It's gonna go both ways. You you just don't see curb stops at this point in tournaments with players of this caliber. So it's gonna be all about can can you take your licks and then turn around, make the adjustment, and, and probably gonna have to squeak it out. You know, and these are never easy to do. And these you've been playing plus R for hours and hours in high stress situations for basically two straight days now. And so the, the mental fatigue definitely starts to kick in when you get towards the very end of these top eights. Like, you, you've you been putting in, you know, 100%. Can you keep it going? Can your execution stay on point? Can you make sure to not crumble because there's going to be pressure? You know, you're, you're playing for top three at the biggest Guilty Gear tournament in North America. Mm -hmm. So yeah, who, who can last longest, make those adjustments? And they, that's why this game is so fun to watch. Exactly. Just playing, playing High energy, high danger, just no fear all around. And yeah, at this point you can't have any. You gotta just lay it all on the line, and we're gonna see that. That you know your reward here is going up against one of the finest to ever do it. So it's yeah. just you know struggle isn't over, even if you give it your all here in this one final huge set. As we're getting our buttons all perfect, and now the characters will be locked in for digital watches. We expect the axle low. Getting a really high placing here already, up to top three. Yeah. Safri with the testament, showcasing the strength of it. And hmm. Uh, I hear I mean, a lock-in on the justice. We've already had a. I, I gotta assume that was an accidental plug. Maybe more than likely. Yeah. It's fine. We'll see though. I can see. It. I could be wrong. We even have, yeah. It's. But usually, you know, you go this far, you you dance with the partner that got you there. Okay. We're good. Okay. I'm gonna uh, see. It, you know. It, there are players who do attempt to counter pick in Guilty Gear. It's rare because it's so hard to pilot multiple characters at high level in this game. But and you said they play each other a lot. So yeah. You never know. Those yeah, little surprises know. could yeah. be in store, but we're not in. But, we're not favorite surprises. But in fairness, if you're going to pick an alternate character, you're not going to pick one that well kind of struggles against the character you're fighting. Yeah. So. For sure. But all right, we got mixed for a minute. Commentators get mixed too. That's why we're commentators and not playing. But here we go. Losers finals. The Frosty Falcon 15. And like we said, already on layer number bigger than most. Yeah, numbers I can't even comprehend right. or break down. A lot of decimal points. And an FRC looks like a small burst there. Yeah, definitely a little bit of burst, burst thirst there, but maintains the corner. Well, gets the burst anyway, so DW already looking good, fades the warrant, but the FRC. Yeah, sure, that frame two counter, that definitely needs an FRC. Definitely something this character needs. Having something unsafe, get out of here. Yeah, no, it couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. Okay. Great from uh, Digital Watchers though, already. I like that safe here. jump set up there. The jump kick air dash. I, I like this buffer jump. Oh. He's using, using it to great effect, by the way. Yeah, found a great FRC. There's that Woo. 2K far slash. Clean. And really just nice and clean. Pretty like great button placements all around. Again, not giving Safri any ability to kind of move forward. To jump right. uh, 4P to break the web, but here comes that cross that picks up. Safri gets their first real conversion of the set. Oh, that's a big drop though. Right onto the beach. <laughs> Definitely want to just take that take that sucker out. I'm yeah, tired yeah, of the XCPs. Yeah, Get yeah. it out of here. I mean, what is that thing made of? I actually dove from the heaven this whole song, and it just he's just like, nah, Paul. But I'm fine. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Nice gonna find great counter. Gonna get that jump slash into some great pressure here. Yep. Into the FRC with yeah, the jump. Throw. That's really the nice. back key. And the reset. This is so smart. The guard bar was cranked, and it's like, yeah, I could get a throw combo. Throw scale combos massively in Guilty Gear. So DW says, eh, let me just get a reset and get real damage out of this. Super smart. Nice oh, ball. what a 6K. Oh, just out of range. The reset, though. Oh, what is it? Oh, God, out of range again? The burst? 
Real scrambly, oh. but jump fast. Yeah, that's He's a flash. It's yeah. hits at such a far range at a great angle for Axel, which makes it one of the best like airborne pokes. Again, extends the hurt box a lot, but it's just two strong hits and makes it so those air tech situations are a little awkward yeah. if you can if you're not close enough to really catch Axel coming down. Yeah, absolutely. But just pretty clean play there. Was there only really one bit of, of you know pressure put on DW that entire game and immediately Safri dropped the combo and DW's like, cool, I'll run this back. Go. All right, jumps in. Ooh, I want to get nice and close to you. Give you a hug. Big grab. Good damage. And already, just going to watch this showcasing. All right. Ooh. Right. Ooh. Immediately baits the burst, though. Okay. Now, Poison's going to stack so much. Oh, that was a gross cross, though. Even trying to, like, take the, the drop hit. again, though. Wow. This is... Axel has a big hitbox, too. You usually do not see those kind of drops. So that guard bar looking pretty spicy for Testament right now. Oh, Oof, what the a counter hit. Do it again. Do it again. Work. Oh, oh, unfortunate. Yeah, a little too early there. Great read on the scenario. Safri not afraid to let it rip and gets around on the board. But Does the counter again, and the hard man. knockdown, I like it. All right, catches on the counter for the pressure there. Yeah, yep, might have been a missed warrant or something. Right now, DW is in there. Oh, but there was a gap. It doesn't need to be much of one. But speaking of gaps, another yep. one presents itself. Woo! Digital watch of the big counter. Oh, oh trying to pick it up. And that's gonna be a nice punish. punish. Yep, easy, easy punish for DW. And DW runs it back real fast and looking to go up 2-0 in this loser's final set. Wake up, counter, jump slash comes out, punishes the warrant. And now we're just trying to fight this battle of uh, normals, but it's definitely in, in a, a battle. Oh, there's a treat, but no conversion. Safri is really struggling to get anything out of the conversions in this set right now. Overhead jump E. Yeah. It's going to get the knockdown more pressure, but oh. challenging with the close slash. Okay. Oh, okay. There's nice punish on thing. Okay. Yep. You will take that trade all day, every day as Axel. Right? Everybody see immediate burst. It came back right as DW was running up. That's hard to bait. Oh, like killing the web, sitting down, waiting for Good it, but forced to stand up to it, get yep. the, the curse on it. Nice. Right, but immediately hit, curse is over, we're out. DW looks at the, oh, the punish, yep, the throw. This is going to scale, might not quite have enough custom, it doesn't have guts though, might be able to crush this. Oh, and, and there, there it is, is. DW2-0. And bouncing up and the excitement, feeling it. showing very like physically a physical player in digital yeah. watches. You see her bouncing around. Yeah. It, when she has that momentum, expresses it so well. immediately going oh, right back. EW is counter. feeling it right now. EW is, is in her element, playing really well, trying to punch this ticket to grand finals and is one game away from doing so. Oh. Wow, what a sequence of things. Good lord. Everything reacting to so perfectly. Either jumping away, countering the beast, yep. crosses over, and staying out of range where Testament oh. can't answer. Wow, okay, there's a full punish. Nope, I lied. All right, GW right back in there, catches. Was fade. That didn't reach, okay. Was able to still block with the whip jump yeah. S. Wow. This is the oh, wow. show, but at least okay. Okay, 2S, yep. The first Master of Puppets of the whole set. Now, what is DW's answer? There's the tree, got, got pushed into it. That poison's gonna tick down. Another tree's planted. You see Safri just, yep, just gonna wait. Poison's gonna keep ticking down. GW is basically gonna have no health, and it's gonna be a single chip will do this at this point. But the catch, Man. not out of it yet. It's on a dream. Okay. okay. Overhead oh, with there the was one tree. more. There was one more. Deforestation, man. <laughs> what are you gonna do? I don't know. I'd ask towards the jump. We've got plenty of experience running into those. Wow, nice anti-air though. Gets the knockdown. All right. East comes out, but misses the 6P. No overhead for you. And just gonna right, watch nice this get back in, to yep. space, get the hit. More pressure with the six heavy. And not Johnson, sure what, so much blocks. I'm not sure what's being pushed there. Like that, I mean Axel is plus there, right? Mm -hmm. Very strange interaction. Yep, baits up super, nice jump S. Bomber, yeah. but okay, good 5k to challenge. Gets the overhead nice, makes the burst. And punishes. Okay. Very nice. Alright. Launch. It just takes a knockdown. Immediately out though. What? Extension with the slide. More right. pressure. The grab. Yep, and we got nice. corner loops. Here we go. Yep, good damage. That guard bar is pretty cranked. Looking for a burst, maybe. Checking resets. Oh, oh. Zappy's out though. Wake up Grave Digger. Oh. Gonna get the setup and that. Oh, does not finish again? Just Smart. swinging. Just swinging. I like that. You saw the startup of the Axel Bomber, but the, the big hitbox of that Badlands catching. Axel trying to evacuate the skies. Safri on the board. 
with the one game. Still needs two more straight to take this yep. set and get back to grand finals, but Digital Watch is in prime position with just right. one win so now, to get there. Yeah, now, now the round of adjustments has been made. Now it's DW's turn. Can you, can you make the adjustments match? Didn't hit. Not sure, maybe trying to do guard counter, getting beat out from it. Nice counter poke with 2K. Right no, no tree, but no conversion. Yep. All right, Vincent RC, yep, earns the burst. Oh, wow. immediate challenge, seeing yeah, the gap. Just go for Grave Digger, but in the corner you go, and oh, oh it's end the eight. challenge. Yep. Tries to go through, and that's not going to do it. Stafford gets round one. Now, the, the Digital Watch's scrambles, yeah, hurting her a lot. She's trying to challenge in between a lot of these spots, but since Safri's now on the offense and is tightening up those gaps, Badlands to really? beat the crouching nice heavy. Nice backdash, though. Ooh, yeah, let's see, if D, let's see if DW tightens up a little bit here. Maybe, you know, not not try to challenge so much things. Play, try and get back to that quick. Nice grab, though. Avoid the EXEB. Whipper reset, no doing this time. But I'll just take the damage. That's fine, too. How many resets will we see? Final number is three. All right, Badlands with the pressure. We're in there. FRC again. 6 H hit. Backs Looking, up. Yep. I like that. Maybe yep. expecting a Grave Digger. Yep. But again, a big life lead, although Safri finds almost wow, a knockdown. Nice air up. dash into challenge the force break skull. I like it. Wow, what a counter for All right. Guard counter again. Needy. Oh, yep. and that reach out just like that. Yep. Yep. Have a way out. Nice buck in the overhead. Yep. Did really the watch is block. still in the lead here, but the bad land. And there's a tree. Yep, oh, it's going to hit. Ooh. Oh, boy. Here we go. Tried to guard counter the skulls there to burst. That's going to do it. Safri runs it all the way back. 2-2 going the final game of this loser's final set. Yeah. Always good answers. Ready. Every, now ready every time for what Digital Watch is presenting. We've seen like the, the punch counter try to come through. Has not been working like it did early on. Axel again. It, it's not really strong um, reversals because a lot of it's, it is committal. Right. Because, like, and there's nothing like ever really guaranteed. You give that little space yeah. and then you can really just pressure do what you want. So now, final game. Wait, starting the round with the two heavy. Nice. Just right, punish ooh. on Badlands a little bit. At that range, not able to get a lot, unfortunately. Now, GW already in a real perilous position. No burst into the mix. Good luck on that one, though. Finds a big hit, too. Okay. Bates the work, but wow. So, so weird. Bank. Yeah, so That's weird. a player matchup thing right yeah, there. Absolutely, 100%. Now, GW with a bit of a life lead here. Oh, counter at 6-8, that's gonna stink. Might have enough. Yeah, Might have enough. Might just get stunned. Easy. Finish there. Mm -hmm. Gonna just get the final hits and to crush the it. guts. It's a DW yeah. on set point. Trying to punch that ticket to grand finals to take on Kadako. Already a good start. Staying at a good distance. Not letting any EXE beats or any web set up. Blocks the patience. I like this patience from DW. Yep. Take what you can get. Nice punish. We're in there. Grip. Oh, oh the web. The combo breaker comes Do through. Do it again. Let's try it again. There Do you go. it again. Kept it, it kind of burst safe. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, that option was there. Yeah, now. yeah. Uh -huh. Looking for a burst. You know, DW was playing. Okay, there's the burst. Zapri is out of options here. Wow, what a. Oh, a Brenson. Big answer. DW on the verge. Oh, went for the throw one more time. Gets counter poked. Cross up comes oh, out. Oh, but it drops. Oh, unfortunate for Safri. Did the watch is needing. Oh, beats Badlands this time. Here. Let's see what happens. Need to try and chip out. There's the last DW piece. on the verge, see. trying to get the puck. The dashing to S and DW is going to grand finals to take on Kadako. Really, really nice readjustment. Those, those third and fourth games got kind of ugly, kind of fast. Mm -hmm. But DW did not wilt. Really, really cleaned up the play, and that yeah. was a, that was a very clean game five. Challenged a lot of things, really good pokes, taking full advantage, and truly, the difference in that set, DW converted almost everything that counted. Safri did not. Exactly. There were some notable drops there. Plus, R is a hard game, man. There's no buffer in this game. Mm -hmm. Like, the best of the best make mistakes, and when the best of the best are playing on the biggest stage, and the pressure's on. They're human like you and me. Yep. They're just a lot better at Guilty Gear than we are. <laughs> but they can make mistakes too. So DW managed to, to limit those, get as many you know conversions as possible, and, and ran it all the way. That's finding testament for five straight games. That's not easy, exactly. man. Maintaining like the mental stack, the presence of mind, being able to play at that pace really. And you see like defensively, if Safri got those hits and knockdowns, 
you know, Axel's going to have to deal with it just as bad as anybody else, even more so. So that's like the two big rounds to tie it back yeah. up. But once it's going to watch is just, again, play it at like all these great ranges, all making these decisions. Seeing that one like uh, situation where it was like, oh, Safri with something big. Yep. I'm not going to punish. I'm going to super jump because yeah. here comes the super because I know that they're going to go for the with the super after their whiff. Yeah. And it's just like avoiding little things like that. It just m really makes a match like that really fun and flourish. Absolutely. Even if yeah. it is a matchup of both players trying to play one player games on each other mm -hmm. and not let either kind of do their thing, which is pretty much just Guilty Gear in a nutshell. Yeah, you're is both players just throwing BS and I need to throw mine first because yours smells worse than mine does. Exactly. So I, if I don't get started and you know, good for DW yeah. to avoid that and maintain that. Yeah, you're trying to lock out your opponent's options as much as you possibly can. DW did that to great effect, especially in that final game. But now, now you have, you climbed a mountain, well, now you climb a bigger one. And yeah. the greatest part is plus our rules, because who out there had May Axel as your grand finals? If you knew Kadako was coming, you might have cheated a little bit. Yeah, yeah, But exactly. if you didn't, I'm gonna be willing to bet that not many people had this pinned in as their, their two characters to see fighting for the first place prize here across the Faust and 15. I love it. Guilty yeah. Plus R. So, a gonna, fun be, game. Gonna, be a, gonna be a fun matchup. Again, you, not a, two characters that are simply not that popular in this version mm -hmm. of Guilty Gear. So, not a matchup you get to see very often. It's there, true. I, there's yeah. not a whole lot of Axel May footage floating around out there despite 10 years of, of various, you know, Old Mikado, Acho, you know, Sportsland has been doing a lot of stuff. Shout out to Shinguku Sportsland. They're doing some really cool streams. If you like Plus R, you want to see some of the best of the best doing weekly events, definitely check them out. But yeah, right here, just outside Chicago, we are ready to crown a champion. DW is going to have to get six against Kadako. That's, Getting one that's is a lot. no small feat. That's big, yeah. yeah. To, to, to reset a set there and really take it over. The play that pretty much embodies the spirit of mate. You know, yeah. Kadako plays not just in plus R, in Exert, all across the board. Yeah. And Digital Watches plays actually like in the other games. Not really a fan of the other Guilty Gear, so mm -hmm. definitely she sticks to the plus R and it shows with how strong she is having her show yeah. here. You know, potential to get the first in a big loser's run, but beating Kadako, that's gonna be a tough part because now you have that one international player that just time and time again really shows their stuff and shows out because I mean they, yeah. they're both legacy players with over well over a decade of experience yeah and getting to fight it out for really like the first time in a tournament stage like this yeah and absolutely. for a grand final too will be a treat and yeah and it, these two players actually they have a lot of similarities you know we talked about DW you know we'll play Axel in a bit of an or unorthodox transfer from that zoning into a, a you know a more aggressive stuff Kadako, same thing. Kadako can play May, you know, super, super, super solid, but he can also be like, no, nah, I got the hooky stuff. There we go. Uh, I got the silly stuff. Uh -huh. it, it's May. Of course I got Jake. Why wouldn't you, you know? And what, so. we, what we've seen from Kadako leading every match, how, what problem does he present? And no one's had an answer for the problem. Will yes. DW have an answer or will Kadako make the ultimate test? Yeah. We're about to begin our final match for Plus R here at Frosty Faustings Grand Finals. Yeah. Kadako May versus Digital Watches Axel. Yeah, let's rock. And let's see what happens here. We'll see if Kadako does what he did in, in the two earlier sets. Will his first game just be a feel out there? Will you just throw some tests out, get a feel for what DW is trying to do? Or will he just try and enforce his game plan from, from round one? Kadako does have the luxury. He, he, he just needs to not lose five or six. Excuse me. He's got five to throw away if he wants to. Don't think he's going to do that, but I won't be surprised if you see a little bit of a feeling out here. Right One here. advantage DW has. DW is nice and warmed up now. That's Been true. on the set for a good while. So. Oh, but there's a knockdown already. And the wake up 2K. Had a little profile. Does it watch with the pressure already? Ooh, the the guard wrist gauge. gauge. Crank up and looking good. Nice blocking the over it, though. Good defense here from Kadako. Yeah, real good patience. Goes up, chases the elevator down. You have to get that knockdown. Nice DP though. All right, catches with the 5 feet. Ah, oh, drops out though. May is it, got a weird hitbox in the air. She's lightweight. Some of those combos can fall out really easily. Nice. Oh, oh anti-air. Really good. Down yeah. the elevator once again. 
Oh, nice. Blocked the rest of rolling. There was no FRC or RC, but no big punish. And now it's a one-touch scenario for Kadako, who's just happy to hang out. Yeah. You can whip as much as you want. Oh, and no way. Oh, oh, it's not going to work. Wow, DW like... smartly avoided it. Wow. What a grab. FRC grab. You're not taking that. No. I don't, I don't care who you are. You aren't taking that. That's right. gross. <laughs> try, to get, try to get an air grab. There was the kick into sweep, knocked down, and now we're going to be in that vortex. See, the Axel is not a lot of life. He lives and dies by just taking all this damage. Aaron hits yeah. already over half life, so being hit by a maze is already scary enough. Yeah, absolutely. Right now, unlike those first two sets, Kadako just looking super comfortable out the gate. Right now, is on the verge of taking a quick game one. And waits for the goal burst. Yeah, such, Dolphin, such good patience. patience. No reason to get fancy. There's a burst there. There's a lot of meter. Nice jump out. Kadako. Game one. Making it look a little too easy there in game one. DW going to have to make some, some quick adjustments. Yeah. Was there any like surprises from Godako? Pretty standard, very yeah. solid May play. Yeah. Haven't really thrown anything like outside of the box. We saw a Ford Heavy already presented there. Yep. Luckily, uh, Digital Watches avoided it. But now we're going to see what adjustments are made. Speaking okay. of Ford Heavies, there comes from Digital Watches. Right. Gets a counter and confirm. Yeah. And the goal burst from Godako. All right, cool. We've got, we've got a nice confirm. The verse is gone. But now DW has to burn her verse as well. But does have the corner. Kadako, real patient. Waiting for the spot. Nice, empty dolphin is below. Going right. The charges are so fast. Main players are crazy, man. <laughs> Those charges are just three charges in a row, bro. All of them ready and raring to go. Oh, right, FRC up. into the corner. Yeah, and run up this delay 2K. Good presence with this uh, staggered pressure okay. with the counter hit. Good extension. There we go. Good life lead digital watches. Going to jump away from the super. Gonna run under and be patient. I like yeah, that. That super is so annoying to deal with. May is armored for the entire thing. It's almost impossible to punish, but DW stays chill, gets around one. Nice turnaround there. Yeah, I like that. Good answers presented. Bo and oh, there's the grab. There was yeah. no full combo from Kadako, so Nudger watches off to a good start here. As long as she can just hold this space down, not force the block, but now it's the Kadako time. Ooh, just outside the BP range. Counter hit, Kadako. Oh, it drops. DW gets a second life here. That could have easily been the round. Nice tech grab from Kadako. The rare tech throw. D ready for them to watch this stuff. And the vacuum effect of the normal. Letting Kadako oh, get a Kadaka. grab. Yep. Jackhound. Yep. That's yep. going to be a finish. Not quite. Not quite. Did try to keep it bursting. Wow, right over her. Really? She's a shorty. All right. Hitboxes. How do they work? <laughs> All right. DW says, wow, nice light with conversion, though. Yep. Oh, wow, That's... what a cross-up, but, oh, still waiting for the first. So the watcher's not trying to be a hero. Oh, just tried to catch counter. Kadako says, no, I'm just throwing the dolphin. I'm not riding it anymore. Kadako takes round two. Nice. nice counter. Very good from DW. All right, has the corner. Wow. Yeah, kind of had to burst there. You were going to get overhead kiss. It was going to be real bad. What oh, is again. going on? All these positions where Kadako goes for those jumps. Here's a big stun combo with the black feet. Anything from Axel that's going to uh -huh. be a dizzy. There yeah, it is. That's, that's going to be the that's round. Be the round. You saw DW just kind of like. Ugh. That it, was such a weird scramble in the corner, and Kadako's like, I know exactly what to do here. It just, Everyone likes to throw. What do you, what do you, what do you know, right? It's, it's a guilty here. Exer. Plus R, it doesn't matter. If you're next to me, I'm pressing. It's one close, frame, no, man. Ford it's heavy. a one frame button. And Kadaka said, thank you for the free with punish, friend. We'll take that to the bank. Yeah. One more game away yeah, Kodako, from being your champion. on the verge of closing this out. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Trying to become the new Frosty Pelicans Guilty Gear Plus R champ. Wow, that guard gauge is high for Axel. Needs some bringer. Nice catch counter. That was super important. All right. Full confirm. Nice. Big damage. And FRC tried to catch a reset, but nice. The doctor right. waited tech forward. Meeting 2K, and now we're off to the races. Yep. Kodako. All right. Being real patient. Just kind of chilling. What a back. Wow. What a back catch. Bates the uppercut. I. The awareness too has much. an uppercut hit. I swear he faded like everyone. It's impressive. Drops the combo though. That could have been the round. So blocking in the back dish again. Yep. Anyone, any other player. I mean, life lead yep. is in. Was in Watson's favor. Uh, EX Bomber oh, wow, gets the, the connection. Nice. Wow. All right. All right. DW, I see you. Yeah. Free yep. to move after that forced break. Axel Bomber. Yeah. It definitely. worked out really well with the side swap. Oh, the now, reset. Nice hit. Oh, Almost a lot of damage, but wow. not quite. That's fine. Down we go to the corner again. DW, DW with their own back dash. Very nice from her. 
Alright. Now there's the burst, but burst into the corner. He escapes with the air dash. Very a bit nice. of an iffy burst there. Kadante gets away with it, but back to the corner. Alright, good block. Good punish. Oh no, a brutal burst! Max damage punish. Jack oh, had no. extension. That's going to be enough. enough. Oh my god. Goodness <laughs> gracious. Just one chance is all it took. Kidako. Tournament point. Why? Oh my god. Okay. 2S trade, but a trade in Blizzard Watch's favor. Oh, down to hit Dolphin. I like the 5H there. Just check everything. Nope. This time, Dieter says, nope, going to counter. DW needs to find some footing right here and now. Kidako on tournament point. All right. I big see a conversion. Damage. It's going to be big damage. Ooh. Big, big damage. Reset, drop, unsure, but Kadako says, my turn now. No chance of a burst yet. One more combo for Kadako. The empty There's low. The low. Not Can quite enough. Here. Dolphin's coming out. The jump heavy whips. Rest of all into the Dolphin, and Kadako is your Frosty Faustings 15 Guilty Gear Accent Core Plus R champion. Just. Clean, Phenomenal. start to finish, all the way through. Masterclass. We, everybody knew once Kadako was coming, it's like, this is this is who you gotta go for mm -hmm. if you want the belt. And Kadako said, no, nah, I'm gonna take that back across the pond with me. It's gonna look nice on the mantle. And there you go, with a big win, the representative from Japan, Kadako yeah. May of 3-0, and just again, playing these matchups so immaculately, yeah. dealing with great players who are doing damage in their own right, but never yeah. being shaken and just showcasing so much versatility and a solid performance yeah. for a two-day tournament, running it through the entire way as the top seed mm -hmm. to take that win. Congratulations to Kadako, yeah. but also big ups to Digital Watch. Yeah, amazing run, amazing having, run. Uh, starting from like top eight in the loser side. Yeah, right having all to the way up. fight her way all the way through there against so many people that know her or maybe ones that she's not familiar with. So yeah. getting a second place to Kadako, that is like, hey, it happens, yeah. but congratulations to you. Yeah, you did no, an amazing run, run just up there with Kadako too, so really fun. Yeah, no, true, truly an amazing run for both players. and. You know, Kadako, I mean, like, just the stereotypical, like, ice in the veins, man. Mm -hmm. Like, just steady all the way, never got rattled. You never saw any panic. You know, it's just like, okay, I got to block for a while. That's fine. We'll block for a while. Just, but the conversions off those scramble situations that you're like, oh, oh, my God, what is going on? And then just instantly, like, I'm, I would take all the main damage. Thank you very much. Also, your stun. Yep. Sorry about your accident. Like, the one combo in that corner and oh like the, the, the first round of like yes. game number three where it was just like, hey, you messed up one time and I got like a, a 5K or whatever the hit was yeah. into just the finished combo without even worrying about stun. Yeah, and just amazing. Just a just a phenomenal conversion. And that that's what you love about watching Guilty Gear at the highest level. Is you just, you see things that you're like, you can't possibly turn this, oh my God, that is 50%. It's, over. it's just gone. The most innocuous little mistake it's like, well, then. you can't make them. All and, right. and it's like asking someone to not make mistakes in Guilty Gear, especially a legacy game like Plus R, that's that's a, that's a tall order. Exactly. And, and but Kadako is just like, I got this, friends. So, yeah. yeah. Shout outs to all our top eight. Really good show. Good matches all the way across the board. Really unique, diverse set of characters. We only had, you know, two testaments, and the rest of it was unique pretty much all the way through. So. Just a, just a great showing, so congrats to the top eight. Congrats to everyone who participated in Plus R. This, this was a brutal bracket, no For matter sure. what part you got in. So shout outs to the Plus R community. Mm -hmm. Shout outs to Rollback and Replay Takeover for advancing this game so many years ahead right. in terms of the player skill level. So pretty soon here, we're gonna get our ceremony, ceremony yep. going. Yep, big ups to all the players. They're getting up here on stage and we're getting ready for our medal and trophy Ceremony, the best of the best in Plus R today here, showcasing the best in North America and the world. So be excited as you know we're gonna go through the line very shortly, and you're gonna see all their wonderful faces, wonderful faces one more time. Yeah. But remember, if you want to pick up this game, it is on Steam. It goes on sale all the time. You get some of the best features in any fighting game, especially a legacy fighting game. And you can at some point play these players and many more. Yeah. And hopefully get to the stage yourself. Yeah. And of course, if you're fiending for more Guilty Gear action, don't worry, we have a ton of it left today on the various streams at Frosty Thousand. We still have to crown an XR champion here in a couple hours. Top 8 will be going on for that. Of course, Guilty Gear Strive will be the finale tonight, the main event. Check, check. So, yeah, and I think it's about time for our medal ceremony here. All right. Let's see our 
tournament organizer, Bozak. Shoutouts to Elvin Shadow. Yep. Throwing this amazing event every single year. So they're getting everything situated, so it's about to get there. So it's just been, a, you know, it's not even like 5 o'clock. I think maybe it's 5 o'clock. 4.41, our yeah. time. So we're going to finish this off with the tournament organizer of Frosty. Elvin All Shadow right. Himself. What's up? We are here with Plus R Top 8 Medal Ceremony. Let's give it a hand for our Top 8 finalists. All right, starting off in seventh place, Justice JAV. Also in seventh place, Jacob Pat. In fifth, Hono. Also in fifth, Woo Cash. In fourth place, Booba. In third, Safri. And in second place, Digital Watches. And in first place, all the way from Japan, the May God himself, Kanako. Give him another hand. Congratulations, everybody. All right, folks. And there you have it, our top eight for Plus R here. Again, big up to Kadako. And with that, we will be moving on shortly to the Strive Top 192 here on twitch.tv slash tap never sleeps. Clay, any last words before we move on? Not much, man. It's been a pleasure. It's great to be back at Frosty Fousing. It's always a pleasure to, to call these amazing matches with you. Thank you to all of you out there for tuning in, watching us crown a plus R champion today. Give lots of love to all the event runners, the bracket runners, the volunteers these fine people running these streams for you to watch and enjoy all weekend long. It gets real hot back here, and these people are working their butts off. So give them lots of love, and don't go anywhere. There'll be more action coming up soon. Y'all take care.